here. Hopefully it's live. Let me share one sec. Put all my graphics up on the screen. Um, let's see, hopefully we're live. Alright. Yep, looks like we are live. You guys, chat is open. Just please be respectful, no spam, no toxicity. We're here having fun. Folks, another epic game as it's Iowa Hawkeyes again. And Caitlin Clark, this is her final home game, folks, at Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City, Iowa. The final home game of the season for Iowa. So sorry I'm a little late here, getting a little uh, started up a little late, but I'm still getting my graphics up on the screen. Um, but I'll run through everything. Starting lineup, stat leaders, team stats, news and notes, injuries, everything, you guys. We're here. We're in the second round of the 2024 NCAA Women's Tournament. Second round, number one rank in the, in the, um, in the, well, this is the bracket that they're in, Iowa. Hawkeyes, 30 and 4 on the season against number 8, West Virginia Mountaineers, 25 and 7 record. I was 14 and 1 at home this season. And this is the final game, folks. Attendance is expected more than 15,500 fans here today. On a Monday night, March 25th, 2024. It's going to be an amazing, amazing night. I'm watching the rest of the UConn-Syracuse game. So I'll run through some uh, standings as well. Uh, I'll run through the bracket uh, as well. Let me get, swap over here real quick. Uh, but again, chat is open, folks. I'm always chilling, your host and play-by-play -play announcer. We're all commentating over here. We're all having a watch party. What a beautiful day out there. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And if you listen to Replay in the Future, I hope you're having a beautiful day as well. I'm going to say that a few times this stream. But we're here. Tip-off is about 20 minutes away or so. So I'm going to run through the starting lines. Hopefully these are right for West Virginia and Iowa. Uh, but as far as I know, Molly Davis is not playing again. Out with the knee injury. Well, questionable. Molly Davis, uh, no injuries for West Virginia. Um notables to speak of but number eight we'll start with the starting lineup first before we get into everything else we're going to go through stat leaders team stats everything folks i'm going to i'm going to try to run through everything and the same for my play call i do every pass every rebound every shot everything i throw it all out at you if you know me by now i've been here a year doing play-by-play -play and i'm i'm loving it. i love sports i love play-by-play -play. i love iowa basketball i love caitlin clark but i love all sports baseball season starts thursday i'll be having a, i'll be doing a game thursday night Opener, Chicago Cubs versus the world champs, Texas Rangers. On Thursday night, I'll be calling that game. I can't wait for that. I think 6.30 is first pitch Thursday night. So I got to get that ready. I got a busy week this week. Wednesday, I'm doing way back Wednesdays on Wednesday. This Wednesday, tomorrow I'm taking off. I'm not going to do no play-by-play. -play. I'm just going to enjoy my day. And what a beautiful day. Right now, it's a little windy and stormy. Uh, but I had to jump up on here and do the Iowa Hawkeyes versus West Virginia tonight. Caitlin Clark's final home game of her career, folks. Woo. Man. I'm already hyped. I'm already. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy as a clam here. So let's go through the starting line first. So number one, Iowa Hawkeyes, 30-4 and four record. Final home game of the season. They're 14-1 at home this season. So starting lineups, point guard, Caitlin Clark. Shooting guard, Kate Martin. Small forward, Gabby Marshall. Power forward, Sydney, a falter. And center, Hannah Stalky, the sophomore. And number eight, West Virginia Mountaineers. Oh, actually, let me finish off my my graphics on the screen there. So it looks, looks cool. <laughs> that looks cool. There we go. Put some more graphics on the screen. So we're pregame first quarter. I could put, put that up in there. Oh, man. I do everything. I do production. I do everything over here. I'm a one man, one man wolf pack over here. Always chilling, man. It's amazing. Thanks for joining me, guys, again. On a Monday night of all times. Oh, man. Let's get back to the starting lineup. So we went through Iowa. Clark, Martin, Marshall, Falter, and Stokey. West Virginia, number eight, 25 and 7 record. Starting point guard. Hopefully these are right. I got these from about an hour or so ago. But Jordan Harrison. Starting at point for the Mountaineers. Shooting guard, JJ. 
Quinerly, Quinerly, hopefully I pronounced that right, Quinerly, Quinerly. Uh, leading scorer for West Virginia, JJ. Small forward, Lauren Fields. Power forward, Kaya Watson. Watson. And center, Kylie Blackston. So there's the starting lineups. I'll run through some stat leaders and team stats real quick first before we get to... Um, well, let's run through some stat leaders first, folks. Caitlin Clark leads the nation in scoring 31.8 points a game in assist, 8.9 assists per game, also leads the team. And leads the team in rebounding 7.3 and steals 1.8 a game. And Goodman, off the bench, leads the team in blocks, 0. .6. Team leaders for West Virginia coming in, J.J. Quinerly, 19.9 points a game for the shooting guard, J.J. Um... Kaya Watson uh, averages 6.3 rebounds a game for West Virginia. And we'll get to some more news and notes because there's a lot to talk about. There is a lot to talk about. West Virginia, one of the best once defend, one of the best defensive team in the league, in the nation. And I'll get to more of that here in a, in a sec. But let's get to some more West Virginia team leaders. So Harrison lead the team in assists per game, 5.1, running the show. And steals three steals a game for Harrison. 2.9 for Quinerly and 2.4 for Fields, 2.4 for Watson. Oh, man, they're steals. I'll, I'll talk more about that here in a sec. Um, but blocks per game, uh, Tavi, Diggs, 0.6, Watson and Fields, 0.6 as well for West Virginia. Uh, but let's get to some news and notes real quick, and we'll get to some team stats here as well. So we're still, I'm still watching the UConn game right now versus Syracuse. And there's other games that finished. Well, South Carolina moved on to the Sweet 16. So the winner of this will move into the Sweet 16, folks. The winner of this game will face uh, Colorado. Uh, so let's let's get to some news and notes first, and we'll get to the bracket. But let's get to some more news and notes for this. The Iowa versus West Virginia. Some more news and notes. Throwing it all out here. What I got here. I mean, sometimes this will be repetitive and... I sound like a broken record, but these just love these are the stats I love to throw out. I mean, there's plenty to talk about. You can go on and on for hours about talking, but I, I try to talk fast, like a like an auctioneer over here or something like that. But man, I'm having fun over here on a Monday night, witnessing the final home game of Caitlin Clark's career here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. We'll start right there. The Iowa Hawkeyes, three P Big Ten champions, they beat Nebraska. In the Big Ten Championship game, 94-89 in overtime. Clark had 34 points, 12 assists, 7 rebounds, 3 steals in that game in the Big Ten Championship game for Nebraska. Whew, Stokey had 25 points, 9 rebounds in that game. And they beat Holy Cross in the first round just a few days ago. I called that game. What a memorable game it was, folks. Oh, man. I, this is amazing. I love this. 91-65 they won against Holy Cross. And again, I'll probably take tomorrow off, and then I'll come back for way back Wednesday. Ah, man, I'm hyped for this whole week. Got way back Wednesday and Wednesday. I'm calling amazing, one of the greatest college basketball games of all time. I'm calling on Wednesday, just just doing it, just winging it and having fun with it. And then Thursday, I'm calling the Major League Baseball season opener between the Cubs and the Rangers. And then Friday, I'm doing another college basketball game. And then Saturday, doing the Sweet 16 of this game, hopefully coming away Iowa, as they're the favorites. If you're out there betting away, Iowa Hawkeyes are the favorites today, minus 15 and a half. Woo. Give West Virginia 15 and a half points. Man. But again, Iowa beat Holy Cross last game. 91-65. Handled their business in the first round. Clark had 27 points, 10 assists, 8 rebounds, 3 steals. Kate Martin with a big game rebounding as well. They got 15 points, 14 rebounds, 2 blocks. Woo. And O'Grady, O'Grady as well, off the bench. O'Grady had 14 points, 5 rebounds, and a block for O'Grady off the bench for his Holy Cross in the first round. West Virginia, they beat Princeton in the first round. That's a good, tough team. They beat them by double figures, though, 63-53. As Quinerly had 29 points, 7 rebounds, 3 steals for J.J. In West Virginia in the first round versus per Princeton. Uh, Harrison, the point guard, 15 points, 3 assists, 3 steals in the first round. Woo! We're about to get going here. And there's only 5 minutes left in the UConn-Syracuse game. Number 3, UConn's up 10 on Syracuse. 5 minutes left, and Syracuse just missed a free throw. 
So the winner of that will move on to the Sweet 16. So let's get to the bracket real quick. The brackets. A little bit of bracketology at you. South Carolina beat North Carolina by 47 points. South Carolina moves on to the Sweet 16. Oklahoma and Indiana going at it right now. Oklahoma up eight. That's a good game right there. Man, Big Ten, Indiana. Whew, man. Um, then you got some other Sweet 16s in there. Oregon State made it. They defeated Nebraska by 10. Notre Dame beat Ole Miss, and they advanced to the Sweet 16. So you got South Carolina, Oregon. Uh, well, South Carolina is still waiting on the winner of the Indiana-Oklahoma game. Then you got o Oregon State versus Notre Dame. They're in there. And this is just the Albany, uh, the Region 1 Albany. So Region 2, Albany in Albany. Iowa, West Virginia right now. The winner of this will go on Sweet 16 to face Colorado. Man, I like Colorado. I, I called Colorado and Oregon game the Pac-12 championship game because the Pac-12 is going to be obliterated at the end of the season. All the teams are moving on. They're moving on to greener pastures, wherever they may be from. I don't know where they're going, but there's a few teams going on to the Big Ten, and the Big Ten is going to end up being like a Big 20 now. I don't, I don't know. But anywho... What was that? Okay, so Colorado, they're in the Sweet 16. The winner of this, Iowa, West Virginia, will face Colorado. And then, and then, LSU, they advance to the Sweet 16, folks. Could it be a rematch if Iowa beats Colorado? And then the winner of Creighton and UCLA faces LSU. So the LSU, if they beat Creighton or UCLA, they'll face Iowa in the Elite Eight. No doubt about it. I will be watching that game. I'll be calling that game more than likely. I'm, I'm going to try to call every game here on out. You guys, mark your calendar. Hit that like. Hit that sub if you like. It don't matter anymore. I know nothing. That's all I know. There, that's all there is to it. I know nothing. I'm just having fun out here. I'm enjoying it. This is a blast. I'm almost a year in. I say this all the time. I'm almost 100 games in because I had to cancel a few games here and there. I'm at like 101, but I canceled like a dozen games. I'm at like 90 games called, but I'm just, this is fun. It's a hobby of mine. Just to pass a little time, enjoy it with you guys. You guys listening in, wherever you may be. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Four corners of the world. From sea to sunshine and sea. Man, I love the sunshine and sea. Man, I'm just thinking about vacation right now. I'm going to Yellowstone in June. I can't wait for Yellowstone. Two weeks in Yellowstone. I'll be hiking the mountains again. Woo! Man, but right now I'm enjoying March Madness, folks. March Madness, always chilling here with you, calling another game here on March 25th, 2024. We're about 10, about 15 minutes away from tip because right now UConn's up eight with four and change left for Syracuse. Uh, so let's get back to the bracket. So LSU, they move on to 16 in the uh, original two, Albany. And then Creighton and UCLA played tonight. That's going to be a good game. And then on to the Portland bracket down below. Texas moves on to the Sweet 16. They defeated Alabama. Roll Tide. They defeated them by double Ds by 11 points. Texas move on to Sweet 16. Utah and the Zaga. The Zags. I like the Zags. I like them a lot. That's going to be a good game. That's a late night. Though. That's 930. Whew, man. That's just about my bedtime right there. Whew. But Texas moving on to the Sweet 16. And you got Utah and Zags tonight. 9.30, and then NC State defeated Tennessee. That was a good game. I was watching a lot of that game. Man, I was hoping for Tennessee. I'm a Tennessee fan because, man, that's a good spot right there. I like Tennessee. I like East Tennessee. I like the mountains, man. I'm a mountain man. So NC State is facing Stanford in the Sweet 16 as Stanford defeated Iowa State, and Iowa State's playing Illini tonight. In the men's, I, oh man, I wanted to watch that. I think it's, no, it's Thursday night. Thursday night. I apologize. Thursday night, Iowa, Illinois, or Iowa State, Illinois, I believe. But I'm busy Thursday night. I'm calling baseball. I'm calling the Cubs and the Rangers baseball Thursday night. That's my, that's on my slate. So, NC State for Stanford, Sweet 16. Then you got Texas in there waiting on Utah and the Zags. Then you got tennis, or, uh, well, that's the end of that. So, Regional 3 in Portland. Let's get to more of the bracket real quick before this is over. So, we got... About four minutes left right now. Ooh, there's an elbow. Elbows being thrown in the Yukon and Syracuse game. Woo. You've been seeing some elbows and you've been seeing some hustle out there. This is only second round back. Man, every round, they're going to lay it all on the line from championship games. I believe uh, Virginia, West Virginia lost in their in their game. I think it was Kansas State beat them, I think it was. I can't remember. I think it was Kansas State. They beat them in the... 
Kansas State beat West Virginia, I think. I'll have to look that up. But Baylor is in the Sweet 16. They defeated Virginia Tech. Then you got USC versus Kansas tonight. Man, that's going to be a good game. Man. So USC plays Kansas tonight at 9. They're going to face Baylor in the Sweet 16. Then you got Syracuse and UConn going at it right now. UConn up 8 with 440 left in that game. They're they're uh, The refs are over there talking over a flagrant foul. So three refs over there. One of them holding the ball. He was shooting around. One of the referees was shooting around. That's what I used to do when I used, I used to referee. I used to, I used to coach. I used to referee. I used to play. But we all start out playing. And then we all end up coaching. And you got to coach. If you're out there, if you go out there and coach. Go out there and teach. And just don't don't tell me nothing. Just teach me something, you know. Or teach. I don't know. So Duke is in the Sweet 16. They defeated Ohio State by a dozen. They move on, so they're going to be facing the winner of this game here, the, the Syracuse. You, you, you. Oh wait, is it? No, yeah, UConn. So they're going to face Syracuse and UConn, Duke. So that's it, folks. That's the bracket. I've had enough of that. I'm going to shut the bracket down. <laughs> All right, shut the bracket down. Shut it down, like Dirk. Woo. Dirk's one of my favorite all-time players of all time. Fifth all-time in NBA scoring. Career points. Man, shout out, Dirk. Man, shout out, play-by-play -play announcers out there. All you guys, everyone out there in the analytic world. I love my analytics. Man. Man. I count my numbers. But here we are. We're about four minutes away from the end of this UConn Syracuse game. And they're going to switch on over to the Iowa Hawkeyes final home game of Caitlin, Caitlin Clark career. Versus number eight, West Virginia Mountaineers, 25 and 7 record here in Carver Hawkeye Arena, Iowa City, Iowa. Attendance 15,500 and change. Probably more than that. There's still some standing out there and they're just hanging around the concession stands too. They're not even sitting down. They're just they're plugging something in their hand. They're listening in or they're putting the bifocals on or I got bifocals and I. I, or binoculars. They can put the binoculars on from nosebleed seats. I'm a nosebleed guy over there, man. I, I pop the earbuds in. I listen to radio. All my old school podcast radio. Whew, man. But here we go. Eight points lead for UConn. So four minutes left there, and they're going to switch on over to this game. So other scores going on right now. Three or two minutes left in the third. Oklahoma up two on Indiana. Paris with 13 points and six boards. Woo. But Buker is in this game right now for UConn. 30 points, 9 rebounds, 4 steals for Buker. But those are the only games going on right now. So 420 left in the UConn Syracuse game. I still got about 4 minutes to uh, blab around about some stats here. So let's get to some team stats for this game right now, folks. Team stats. Iowa Hawkeyes are first in the nation in scoring. Every game I'm saying that's just about. They're averaging 92.8 points a game. Leads the nation. First in the country. And West Virginia is 45th in the nation. 74.6 points a game. Rebounding. Iowa as a team. 41.6 rebounds a game. 17th in the country. 31.9 for West Virginia. 32 boards a game. And for assists. First in the country. Iowa Hawkeyes led by 8.9 assists per game for Caitlin Clark. She's... Leading the nation in the assist, too. We'll get to some more Caitlin Clark's accolades here in a second. Oh, man. But first in the country in assist for Iowa. And uh, West Virginia, 14.6 assists a game. But steals per game. West Virginia, second in the country in steals per game. 13.9 steals a game for West Virginia. Woo. They get low. They, man. Man. They play some good D. They get their hands up. They move. They close out, they box out, they contest shots, they scramble leaning for the ball, they dive out of bounds. I like watching West Virginia, man. But almost 14 steals a game for West Virginia, 3.4 blocks a game, 7.5 steals a game for Iowa, 3.3 blocks a game for Iowa. So shooting, we're still about the team stats right now. We still got 3 minutes, 30 seconds left in the UConn Syracuse game. I still got 3 minutes to, to rattle on here and sing my song because West Virginia is up there and shooting as well. They're 33 in the country, 33rd in the country, almost 45% shooting from the field. And I'll speak of their defense here in a second. I mean, because you already know 14 assists steal the game, second in the country. But the Iowa Hawkeyes are shooting 50.3% from the field, 
the second best in the country, folks. 38.2% from downtown, seventh in the country, and 78.2% from the free throw line. They hit them when they need them. And lately, they've been playing extremely well, especially with some uh, poor shooting lately. But they, they've been pulling it off. They've been rebounding. They've been scrambling. They've been diving out of bounds, even some injuries out there. And Molly Davis get, get well over there. But just some hustle play all around Big Ten ball. The Big Ten champ three-peat for Iowa. Whew, man. But they're 13th in the country in free throw shoot in Iowa. They're holding their opponents to 71.7 points a game and 39.9 field goal percentage holding their opponents. First in the Big Ten field goal percentage holding their opponents to. In West Virginia, again, they're 33rd in the country in shooting by 45%, 32.4% from downtown and 70% from free throw line. They're holding their opponents to 57.6 points a game 36th in the country, and second best in the Big 12 Conference. They actually, unfortunately, lost the Big 12 Championship game, and I'll have to check it up, but I think that was Kansas State. I don't know if I... I didn't write that down. I usually write everything down. Um, I just throw it all at you. But, yeah, I just write it. See, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you guys. I'm just a stack guy, and I write everything down. I just, uh, just throw as much as I can. My cat's over here laying, sleeping over here. That's Quincy over there. He's on the screen. But sometimes I just write too much. I, I only have so much room, and... But uh, you guys are awesome. All you guys listening in, you guys are amazing. But I'm going to try to throw some more stats out there real quick. But again, West Virginia Mountaineers are 36 in the country, holding their uh, opponents to about 57.5 points a game, second best in the Big 12. And shout out Kansas State. I think it was Kansas State that won the, the Big 12 championship. <sighs> Somebody let me know in the chat. I don't know. But anywho, West Virginia is holding their opponents as well to 39.9% from field. So both... West Virginia and Iowa holding their opponents to about 40% shooting. And Iowa just coming off a big victory in the first round versus Holy Cross. And West Virginia beat Princeton in the first round. So let's get to some more West Virginia. Because I like to talk about their, their defense. So again, 14 steals a game for West Virginia as a team. Second in the country. So we're two minutes well, two minutes to go here in the UConn Syracuse game. UConn's up four and a missed shot down below. And a knock to the ground. UConn player in good help. Everyone helping them up there. Got to help out your players over there. So four-point game in the UConn and Syracuse game with two minutes left in that game. And as soon as that's over, we'll get to this game, Iowa and West Virginia. I'm over here play by play. You already know. I'm always chilling. And I'm, I just I love doing this, you guys. I try to get in as many games as I can, but lately it's been one one a week, one a, every two weeks. But hit that sub. Hit that subscribe if you want. Or like and all that. I'm old school. I just do old school podcast radio and play by play announcer commentating we're all having a watch party here we're having a beautiful day what an amazing day i'm gonna throw out some west virginia stats at you folks one of the nation's best defense they're plus minus ball 8.75 turnover margin leads the nation in turnover margin west virginia they're second in steals per game they force 23.9 turnovers a game Woohoo! Let me repeat that. They forced almost 24 turnovers per game. That is third best in the country. West Virginia shot out their defense. Woo. This is going to be an amazing game. This is going to be scrappy. I know it is. This is going to be, man. And one more at you. West Virginia is first in the country in points per possession, folks. That means they're passing the ball around. They're not turning it over. They're getting good looks. They're getting second opportunities. And they're getting fast break points. They're scoring off turnovers. And this is going to be amazing. This is going to be something else. But again, this is Caitlin Clark's final home game of her career here at Iowa City, Iowa. Carver Hawkeye Arena in front of 15,500 fans. And then the bet line, again, if you're out there betting away, I'm not a betting man, but I was minus 15 and a half points right now if you're out there betting. Uh, but folks, last year, led by Clark, Clark led Iowa to the first Final Four in 30 years last year. Clark, they beat South Carolina in the semifinal. Unfortunately, they lost in the championship game versus LSU. Shout out Angel Reese, the most value, most outstanding player. Let me get a drink real quick. 
But one minute, 55 seconds left in the UConn and Syracuse game. UConn up four. So two minutes left in that game, and then we'll swap out over, and I'll start calling the Iowa versus West Virginia. I wrote some more West Virginia quotes. Mark Kellogg. All right, so let's get to some... We have four-point game, 140 left. They're bringing out the floor, UConn. 140 left. Yeah, they're going to hold the clock. 30 and 5, UConn. Whew, man. All right, so let's get to some Caitlin Clark accolades real quick before this tip-off here, because tip-off should have been 7 o'clock. But Caitlin Clark, folks, third straight Big Ten Player of the Year, set an all-time scoring record, if you haven't known, if you don't know by now, now you know. Man. Caitlin Clark, folks. Let's go through some of her career stats, and there's plenty out there to speak about. But Caitlin Clark, third straight Big Ten Player of the Year, set the all-time scoring record over Pete Maravich for men's and women's Division I college basketball. She now has 3,798 points and counting. Still, because these games count here in the tournament. These games count toward your career stats. Caitlin Clark has 3,798 points career. Still counting. She's a Big Ten all-time leading assist leader with 1,102 assists per game, or 1,102 assists in her career. Fourth most all-time in college basketball division one. I'm watching the free throw made over there for Syracuse. Syracuse cuts the lead to three with a buck 13 left. UConn up three, shooting the second free throw. Oh, man, well, yeah. It rattles in and out. Long rebound. Oh, no. Under a minute left. UConn up three. UConn with the ball. All right, let me go through some rest of my stats here real quick. Fourth fourth most all-time assist for Caitlin Clark. 1,102. Caitlin Clark, 176 three-pointers made this season. And counting, because the game is still counting. Or the, the stats still count for these games here in the tournament, but 176 threes made this season for Caitlin Clark in the 34 games. Caitlin Clark, she passed up the previous NCAA record held by Steph Curry, folks. Man, I remember those games, Steph Curry. Those were the days. I remember way back. I'm old school. I'm over. I'm old, I'm old. I'm almost 50 almost, believe it or not. I just love it. I love it here. Having fun with the play-by-play calling and all. I just got on the train last last year. I hopped on that bandwagon, folks. I'm starting to announce games. I'm, I didn't play by play for now a year now, and I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. This is amazing. This pass a little time. I don't get paid no nothing. Just It's a hobby of mine. Just a pass a little time. Play by play announcer, commentating. We're all having a watch party. That's all there is to it. You guys are amazing out there. Wherever you may be listening in the world, I wish you a beautiful day. I say it every stream as well. If you're listening in the future, you stumble upon always chilling. You think you'd be watching the game. You're like, oh, what is this? Always chilling? Man, I apologize. I can't show the game, but I, I do play by play old school podcast radio. Think of it as the black and white days because I love black and white TV. I watch great all the time. John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, shout out. Gosh, and I love sports. I love play by play. I love radio. I love old school radio. Man, Vin Scully, one of the greatest, one of my favorites of all time. Harry Carey as well. Jack Brickhouse, all of them. All the newer ones as well. I don't. Oh, man, but you guys are amazing. Here I am doing play-by-play almost a year later, calling games. Here I am calling the final home game of Caitlin Clark's career, the 2024 NCAA Women's Tournament second round, number one Iowa versus number eight West Virginia, and hopefully I'll have some breath left later on. I got me a big old oatmeal cookie here that's left over. I threw a piece of bread up in there. It's a few days, like two, three days old. I made oatmeal cookies the other day, and I threw a piece of bread up in there, and now they're nice and soft and Delicious, man. Oatmeal with some walnuts and raisins and peanut butter. Amazing. I made some amazing oatmeal cookies. And last night I made some uh, some ham and macaroni and cheese. Some ham and mac. That was delicious too. But a three ball made by UConn with 27 seconds left. So UConn's up six over Syracuse right now with 27 seconds left. UConn up six over Syracuse. Folks, smash that like if you want. Smash that subscribe if you want to. Man, keep me motivated to keep on going. Man, give me the confidence. But regardless, I'll still be here because I love doing this. It's just a hobby of mine. Pass a little time and you guys are amazing out there listening in. This is amazing. 
But again, some more Caitlin Clark accolades here. We still got 27 seconds left. 176 threes made again this season, still counting. 56 30 point games, 19 30 point games this season for Caitlin Clark. Most in the last 25 years for Caitlin Clark. 56 30 point games. She has 12 40 point games. For this season, and that's also most in the last 25 years. And Caitlin Clark, folks, 17 triple doubles in her career, six triple doubles this season, second most all time in Division I basketball. She was two rebounds away from dropping the triple dub last game against Holy Cross in the first round 27 points, 10 assists, eight rebounds, three steals. Big game out of Kate Martin, 15 points, 14 rebounds. But here we are, 27 seconds left in the UConn-Syracuse game. UConn up six, 27 seconds left. I'm going to get a drink real quick, one sec. Man. And again, chat is open, just please be respectful, no spam, no toxicity. Yes, you guys are awesome. I'm not opinion man, I'm not. You guys speak your mind, let me know how it is. Just keep on creating. Man, what a night. What a beautiful day. Woke up this morning. Oh, man, sun shining. Head, head on up to Carver Hawkeye Arena, Iowa City, Iowa. Attendance 15,500 in attendance. Hey, I'm still talking, but I wanted to take a quick breather. Gosh, I always say hope. Cause hope is one of those words we just cling to. Like, I mean, we, we all cling to love. We, we, you know, we all cling to love. Got to cling it. Got to cling to love. But like hope, I just hope I last the whole game. That's all there is to it. I hope I last the whole game, play by play, calm, because I wouldn't want to miss this for the world. I love basketball. I love sports. I love play by play. And I love being here with you guys. You guys, this is something else. I made it almost a year in now. I'm at 101 games. I canceled a lot of games. I'll show you my my. I can I can show you all my my paperwork and my notes over here. I got notes coming out. I got notes coming out the wazoo over here. I got. <laughs> you guys, just be genuine. Just be yourself. Just be honest and have fun. That's all there is to it. Keep on smiling. Smile back at me. That's all there is to it. 70 to 64. Syracuse down six. Long three. Back iron missed. Rebound UConn with four seconds left. UConn is about to advance to the sweet 16, folks. Woo-hoo-hoo. I'm getting ready over here. Folks, I hope you're having a beautiful day out there getting ready. Grab your favorite tall beverage. Hope you're having a beautiful night out there. Grab your favorite snack. I got me some oatmeal cookies over here. Just loaded oatmeal cookies. Man, I'll throw my recipe out there in the chat here tonight, maybe. Listen to all y'all out there listening and lurking around. You guys are amazing. This one's for you. Mm-mm-mm. Delish. Let me show Quince. I, I can show all my. Oh, let me show Quince one more time. That's Quince over there sleeping, and I'll show my shorts because I got my, I got my Iowa shorts on again. That's right, folks. Iowa baby. I got, I got my stats ready. But yeah, I write it all down. I got some more stats there. This is just all my. Oh, that's for tomorrow. That's, oh, that's the last game. My upcoming streams. I wrote all that down. The 1979 championship game. And I got my other, oh, that's a little sneak peek from my game I'm going to be calling here in 1992. That's what I'm calling them way back Wednesday, folks. There's a little sneak peek, 1992. Duke versus Kentucky, I'm calling it on Wednesday night. Hope you join me on Wednesday night. I can't wait for that, but 1979 is called that one. And I got, I got to write down the stats. I write down the stats for the game, too. I try to get it. I get lost, too. But there's 2016 championship game. <laughs> Cubs game, I call that. 1960 World Series, I call that. I do way back, because I, I love doing way back games. I love calling. Oh, I had to cancel that one. Dodgers, Padres. That was 4 o'clock in the morning. I wanted to call that. I had to cancel it. Gosh darn it. I wanted, I wanted to do that game. I had to get up at 4. And, oh, man. How oh, was this? It was something else. But Quincy's over here sleeping, so he'll be meowing here probably at halftime, waiting for dinner. All right. Man, you guys are awesome. Give you guys a little sneak peek of my notes. <laughs> my notes. I write down everything. I'm a madman over here. <laughs> that way I have it all right in front of me. I ain't got to look for it. I ain't got to scramble around. 
I got it right in front of me, and I just watch the game. I enjoy it. I call every play. I try to call every play, every pa everything. I call every pass, everything I see. I try to sh give you guys a beautiful visual out there. And if you guys can't hear me, uh, please let me know. Sometimes I drop in and out of the of the stream. It goes in and out. Uh, but lately, it's been running all right. Got some video games in. Played some Call of Duty lately, and it's been. I think the new season's coming up in a couple of days, but. Play some Tony Hawk. I'm a, I'm a skateboarder too. I got a skateboarder over there, but I just I love to stay active, get outside, and have fun with it. Exercise, go for a walk, go for a hike, and that's the final. UConn won by eight over Syracuse, seventy-two to sixty-four is the final, and here we go, folks. You guys, the ones that'll stay with me in the long run, and the ones that are with me now, I want you to know. You guys are amazing, and I wish you a beautiful day. Man. And the ones that listen in the future as well, I wish you a beautiful day as well, because I know I'm having myself a beautiful day. Quincy got a full belly. He's sleeping right now. You got a full cup of water over there. Glass of <sighs> Quincy's got two water bowls over there. Man, man, Quincy's amazing. That's my cat right there in the screen. So, oh, yeah, I, I forgot to put my alerts on. So if you guys, uh, oh shoot, I forgot to put my alerts on. So if you guys hit the sub, you'll get a Three Stooges alert. So if you go on, a, if we go on a sub train right now, if you guys hit that sub, I think the Three, the Three Stooges will play. I think I don't know. It's like a special graphic I got. I put a special thing up in there. <laughs> but I put like a, it's like Three Stooges. I like Three Stooges. Man, Curly was my favorite. Curly was my favorite. The first Curly. So, if you guys like Three Stooges, let me know, or not, or just, and you guys, collect your thoughts and ponder, oh man, don't collect them, just, man, teach them, if you guys got a good thought, teach it, I will be willing to learn it, I love learning, I get complacent, so I just want to keep on learning and keep on, keep on trucking on, but, man, I learned how to do play-by-play. -play, but I, I mean, I've been playing sports and loving sports all my life. Love basketball. I love Iowa basketball. I love Caitlin Clark basketball. Oh, man. And here we are, about five minutes away from tip-off. The winner of this will be in the Sweet 16, folks. Let me get back to the bracket real quick. So, UConn defeated Syracuse. Hang on. All right, I gotta turn that back up. I got mine. I got my voice too loud. And I got the game too low. So let me lower this one. This is just my own feedback. I got I got feedback in both ears. My mind's scrambling all around. I'm going a million miles an hour. Man, this is amazing. This is this is awesome. Oh man. But I usually I don't I can't show my I mean I can show my face, it don't matter. You guys can see me hiking out there. That's me over there. I shaved my beard actually. My beard's gone. I had I I shaved the Wolverine beard. I had a Wolverine beard for when I went hiking in the in the mountains over there. The Great Smokies. I went hiking in the Great Smokies and I'll be in Yellowstone here in a couple months, but But here we go. Iowa City folks. Hang on one sec. Take my shirt off one sec. Take my shirt off. It gets hot in here, okay? It gets hot in here. But yeah, I take my shirt off. And plus, I'm hearing too. Like Austin Powers over here. <laughs> like Austin Powers. <laughs> Alright, but let's get to the game. Here we go, folks. Again, beautiful day, y'all. Number one, Iowa Hawkeyes, 30 and 4. Here we go. Tip off. Let me take pregame off there. So, Hannah Stokey tipping off. I went through everything, hopefully. I went through the starting lineup. Hang on, let me take that off of there. Take, so first quarter, boom, take that off of there. All right, I took that off. Hang on one sec. Come on, come on, come on. So knocked out of bounds. So Virginia, West Virginia got this hit. I'm trying to turn this one off. All right, so West Virginia won the tip. I'm trying to turn it up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. So I can hear you get the ball. So up top, actually it's Iowa Ball, so West Virginia must have turned it over. So Iowa Ball, Caitlin Clark driving in the lane. Clark up and missed the first rebound by Lauren Fields. 
Usually I get a, I'm a little rusty here to get going, but I'm gonna get going here. Let me shut this one down. Oh, man. Okay. And long missed shot. So a Falter, Martin, Clark, Marshall, and Stokey got those right. And a turnover by by Stokey. Let me turn the game back up. First corner lead down low. And running in transition is Kyle Watson. Watson. So they must hit a three. Dang it, I missed that three. What? I apologize. I must have missed a three. So it's 5 nothing West Virginia. I don't know why that was so low. It turned up. I pull up the score. So 5 nothing down low is Stokey. And out is a long three missed. All right, so... I got discombobulated there for a second. I'm back at it. Let me pull up the box score. All right, let me pull up the box score. Move this over a little bit. All right. So five nothing. Here we go, folks. Out on the wing. There's Harrison in the corner. The Blackston down low. Watson out top. Five on the shot clock. Taking up all the shot clock. And a long three by Fields. And missed an offensive rebound by Blackston. Saving it from going out of bounds. But she has actually stepped out of bounds. 8.06 left here in the first. So I put first quarter up there. Five nothing West Virginia. I'm trying to update my... And as the game progresses, update the game high stats down below. As always, folks. You already know the special graphics down below. I'm updating the score up above. I do all this handheld. I do this all just for the love of the game, for the, from the love of my heart. I'm giving you guys all my heart, 110% over here. And a long three miss. <laughs> I guess, I just say I gave 110% and I miss a long three. There's long in transition. There's Watson. Baseline kicks it up top. The Blackston back in the corner of the Watson for three. Rims in and out. Good rebound by Martin down low. Martin brings it past half court. 7.30 remaining here in the first. 5 nothing. Here's a falter taking it. Rim off the backboard and off the rim and in. Taking it baseline. A falter putting Iowa on the board. And the fans can sit down now, folks. Iowa is on the board here. The final home game of the season. Oh, and the oh, 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 that kind of line. Oops. So it does work. Oops. <laughs> so that's my, <laughs> that's my alert right there. <laughs> That's my subscriber alert. That's loud. So here's Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, long three. Caitlin Clark from the wing. And Iowa ties it up. Let's go. We are underway, folks. We going to have a sub train here going. Am I going to hit 250 subs tonight? Who knows? All I know is I'm having a, a good time over here. I'm having a darn good time. Amazing night. Quincy's up now. Quincy's up. He's meowing now. Quincy is up and on his feet. 5-5 five, five. in the corner. Long three by Blackston. Knocks it down in the corner. Kylie Blackston, the senior. West Virginia up three. And a body foul and a blocking foul, I think, by West Virginia. I think that was on Harrison. So 8-5. I got to update the score. 8-5. Come on, come on. Five. All right. Here's Stokey gets the inbounds pass and a screen set by Clark. Clark driving all the way down and she is blocking foul. Actually knocked out of bounds. No foul called in that play. The ball knocked out of bounds. Eight to five. Six twenty three left here in the first. Three for six shooting West Virginia. Two for four for Iowa. Inbounds pass to Martin on the wing. Here we go. Now I'm in the groove. Now I'm feeling it. I'm in the groove now. Here's Clark on the wing. It's a high screen from Stokey. Doesn't take it. Clark rolling right. Guarded by Fields. Clark step back free throw line jumper. Rims in and out. And the offensive foul by Clark. She's trying to cool it off a little bit. She's a little bit hot. She's trying to calm down, get a little bit collective. But lowers the shoulder, lifts a little bit much there. Strong like bull is Caitlin Clark. Whew. One of the best defenses in the league. And here's a steal almost by Gabby Marshall at the other end on Harrison. Tipped around, Quinnerly gets it. 
Kicked around, Quinn nearly up top, and knocked away again by Gabby, and a diving on the floor by a falter. A falter, and Gabby Marshall at the top of the key with some defense. A falter diving to the ground. Woo. I love this. It's amazing. Four for seven shooting West Virginia. Two for four shooting Iowa. Three turnovers, Iowa. One for West Virginia. And actually, that was a foul in West Virginia, Quinnerly. Woo! Here's Jordan Harrison, the top sophomore. Gets it off. Long three by J.J. Quinnerly, top of the key. The leading score, 19.9 points a game for Quinnerly coming in. 29 points for Princeton. Knocks down the three. 11-5 and up and off the glass is Stokey at the other end. 11-7. Stokey going to the line to convert a three-point play with 529 left in the first. Whew, I'm going to throw a chat out there for you guys. It's amazing. Amazing game. Thanks for joining, y'all. Beautiful. And Fearbox step. Checks in. Boom. This ah, put my I put those in there again. My thing glitched out here. So Fearbox checks in. Amazing game. Thanks for joining, y'all. Beautiful day. Threw a chat out there. Eleven eight. And a long three in the corner rattles in and out, and the rebound, Caitlin Clark. So you're gonna get it past half court. Get the Kate Murray. Get to my fan on. Oh man, I'm hot. I turn my fan on. Caitlin Clark on the wind to Gabby. Back to Caitlin Clark up top. 15 on the shot clock. Get the highest swing from Stokey. Doesn't take it. Long swing past the fear back in the corner. Fear back three ball in the corner. Rattles out. Offensive rebound Stokey. Gets it to Gabby Marshall on the wing. Rims in and out. And a rebound. Quinnerly. JJ Quinnerly pushing it all the way up and off the glass and in. 13 to 8. West Virginia with a five point lead. Here's Caden Clark, top of the key, knocks it down for three over Quinnerly. 11 to 13. She makes it look easy like a layup out there. Hang on, let me put, I'm trying to catch up my score. But TV timeout, or at the end of the first, I'll get the score down below, the awesome graphics down below. And Caitlin Clark gets a rebound over here. And a long outlet pass to Stokey running in transition. Hannah Stokey running the floor. Tying the game up. Caitlin Clark, let's go. 13-13. With four minutes left in the first. Woo. Five, five of ten shooting West Virginia and knocked out of bounds. And off the knee of Harrison... Jordan Harrison, the turnover for West Virginia, and a timeout on the floor. 13-13, folks. With 349 left in the first, Kaylin Clark is 2 for 4. 2 for 3 downtown. 6 points. I'm going to update my stat line down below. Hang on one sec. Woo! This is amazing, you guys. This is amazing. I got to take a breath. But during the TV timeout, TV timeout, commercial break. I'm always chilling, your announcer, play-by-play, -play, commentating host, whatever you want to call it. All I want to say is we're all having a watch party. You guys are enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It's a hobby of mine. I don't get paid no nothing. I do this for the love of the game, love of sports, the love of Iowa basketball, and Caitlin Clark, and all things play-by-play. -play. I love play-by-play. -play. Shout out all the play-by-play -play hosts out there. You guys giving it your all. Give it 110% with every line you drop. Man. I try to give it my all every time. I try to make it the most epic stream every time, the most epic time I have, because you never know. You never know when's the last time. I'm only here for a good time, not a long time. Man, let these good times roll. This is a good time. Let these good times roll. Man, Sam Cook. Now I'm thinking of Sam Cook right now, because I'm going to be here till it soothes my soul. Man, that's a good song. 13 13, 349 left in the first, and I think both teams are in the bonus. So 13 13, I'm gonna update my stat line down below. So, T or uh, this is a game high stats down below. That's all I can, uh, 
that's all I can squeeze in there. So, so Clark. Uh, we're going to put six. So Caitlin Clark with six points. She leads all scorers. Rebounding leader. Clark with two rebounds. Wow, Clark leads all rebounders. Okay, okay. I see you, Clark. I see you. Assist leader. Harrison for West Virginia dropping two dimes. I'll put Harrison up in there. Harrison getting a shout out. I put Harrison. Boom, Harrison. With two dimes, right? Yay, yay. Blackston with a steal. Quinterly with a steal. So a couple with steals. Fearbach with a steal off the bench. And welcome to Kaya Watson's block party. Oh, Watson uh, with the block. I gotta put that in there. I like block parties. I was a out of out of defender down low myself. I, I played down low. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put Watson in there. Boom boom. Boom with a block. Block party Watson. And we'll leave all the other we'll leave steals blank because there's a few players with steals, so 13 to 13. 3.49 left in the first. Commercial break. 5 of 10 shooting West Virginia. 3 of 7 downtown. They turned it over twice, West Virginia. Here with 3 and change left in the first. Still TV timeout. Commercial break. They're over there chatting away. Calling out plays. And coaches are writing it up. And breaking clipboards over there in the sideline. And throwing chairs. Like, man, one of the greatest. Man. I love Indi Indiana basketball, too. I love Hoosier. Hoosier. Man. But I miss Bobby Knight. I miss Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight's amazing. One of the greatest all time. The greatest coaches all time. Bobby Knight. Man. Oh man. He was passionate. You gotta be passionate. You gotta just I mean not say you gotta do you ain't gotta do nothing. You can do whatever you wish, but man. Man, that's what it's all about. It's all about the love of this right here. The love of play by play. Inbound pass to Kate Martin. I'm just thinking about how much I love play-by-play. -play. This is amazing. Just be here with you guys one, one time a week, even one time every two weeks. But it's March Madness. I'll be here every week. A couple games this week. But here's Caitlin Clark, top of the key. Low pass to O'Grady. Knocked away and out of bounds. O'Grady checks in the game. Addie Addison. Nickname Addie. She goes by Addie. Addison O'Grady with Junior. Knocking out of bounds. 13-13, 3.25 remaining in the first quarter. And an inbounds pass to O'Grady down low. O'Grady off the glass. Rims in and out. Rebound Quinerly. He's pushing it up. JJ in transition. Bounce pass to Hemingway up. And a travel by Jayla Hemingway. The senior. Turnover West Virginia. Their third of the game. Three turnovers for both teams now. 317 left in the first. 1313, folks. Welcome in, listening in. I'm always chilling, doing play by play, announcing, commentating, old school podcast, old school radio. And we're all, we're all having a watch party. And that was a kickball right there. That looked like a kickball. They sure enough, they called a kickball in Blackston. But you guys, I apologize. I can't show the game. That's not, that's, I'm here. I've been doing it a year now. I'm just, I've been following sports all my life. I'm almost over the hill. I'm just, Man, I'm getting long in the tooth over here and like losing all my hair and my grace. Coming in like Santa, man. I can't wait till I have a full beard of grace. I want a full beard of grace, man. But I'm loving play by play. I love being here with you guys. I love calling games. I love sports. And this Wednesday, I got a play by play coming up. NCAA uh, game 1992, NCAA East Regional Final, Duke and Kentucky. The shot, Kristen Lettner. I had a chance to talk with Kristen Lettner one time. Amazing character, stand-up guy. He's a surfer, too, from California, as well as Cherokee Parks. He played for that team, too. And a step-back three for Kaylin Clark. Top of the key, Kaylin Clark. I think Cherokee Parks was from Huntington Beach. Shout-out, Huntington. Shout-out to surfers. I used to surf, too. 11-2 run for Iowa in the last 250. 16-13. Kaylin Clark with a third three of the game. She's got nine now. On the wing is J.J. Quinn early. Dribbling around in the lane, J.J. Long pass Hemingway. On the corner. Down low to Harrison. Down, actually, that was that was Watson down low, missing it off the glass and rebound Stokey. And Fearbox in there. Here's Caitlin Clark, top of the key. Two minutes left. Caitlin Clark taking it baseline. Long swing pass and stolen away by Quinn early. Long outlet pass. To Fields, and she's fouled. 
Lauren Fields, the senior, is fouled by Kylie Freerbach, the junior Kylie. She'll be back next year. But a beautiful step back three by Kaylin Clark, creating space. Step back three. Woo! I got to practice that. I'm out there practicing too. Talk about practice. I'm out there practicing all the time. I try to get 100 shots off every now and then. If the weather's, I don't care about the weather. I'll play in snow, sleet, and ice, and rain, and wind. I'm in the Midwest, so I get it all. I get tornadoes. The only thing I don't get is, I mean, we get, like, we, we got hurt. We got earthquakes before, like, 10, 20 years ago. But, man, I'm, I'm, free throw made, 16-15. West Virginia with a one-point lead, two minutes left. And here's a falter, top of the key. A falter looking for somebody to pass. They picked up her dribble, hands it off to Clark. Clark, top of the key, 15 on the shot clock. Quinn early guarding her. Crossed her over, step back three, top of the key. Back iron, rebound Martin, down low. Martin on the ground, scrambling, tied up. Jump ball. Kate Martin. Woo-hoo-hoo. Scrambling, her third board game. She had 14 last game. I think, let me check my notes real quick. Yeah, she had 15 points. Where is that? 14 rebounds, two blocks. O'Grady had 14 points, 5 rebounds last game, 1 block off the bench for his Holy Cross. But it's jump ball, it's West Virginia ball, down 1, 140 left. On the wing is Hemingway. Hemingway drives in the lane, off the glass, as she blocks, doesn't even get off the glass. Blocked away by Stokey, Stokey passes and turns it over. Stolen away by, and in the, or stolen away by Watson on the corner, Watson rims out, rebound, a falter. Woo! I gotta get my breath. I gotta get a drink of water. I'm spitting all over. Man, I'm spitting all over. <laughs> Here's Kaden Clark, long screen pass, and in check McCabe. So McCabe is in the game. Taylor McCabe, sophomore. Here's a falter up top. A falter driving in the lane, passing up top to Kate Martin. Jumper, free throw line from the elbow, knocking it down. Kate Martin from the elbow. Under a minute to go in the first. Iowa with the three point lead. Woo! I gotta get a drink of water. <laughs> you guys are amazing out there listening in. You guys are awesome. Man. That's all there is to it. End of the day, call it a day. You guys are amazing out there listening, lurking around, chatting away. All oh, you guys are beautiful. What a beautiful day. Here's Harrison driving in the lane. It's Quinnerly blocked away by Stokey again. Stokey with another big block down low. I think that's her third of the game. Woohoo! 20 seconds left. The shot clock's off. Clark, top of the key. Up three. 18 15. At the end of the first update, the stats and everything. I'll throw out every stat for you guys. I'll try to. Here's Clark. Long pass down low to Stokey. Out. Falter. Falter driving in the lane. Left handed off the glass. And she is fouled. A falter going to the line for two with a strong move down low with the opposite hand. And a foul by Blackston with 1.2 seconds left in the first. That's Kylie Blackston's second foul. She's got three points with two fouls on the start and center. Man, what? Clark, or uh, Blackston, yeah, she's starting center. Watson's leading the team in rebound, 6.3, but you don't want to be missing out on no Blackston. She's a difference maker down low. She's 6'3", I think, Blackston. I didn't write it down, but last I checked, I think. My, uh, my photographic memory served me correctly. But here's a falter at the free throw line, knocking down the first. 19-15, 1.2 left in the first. A falter, knocking down the second. 20-15, to 15, folks. Buckle up. Iowa with their biggest lead of the game in a long three-quarter course shot. woo That was like a foot or two shy. Oh, my goodness. I think that was Harrison that got that off the... Woo. Man, I was at the edge of my seat for that one. That was a good shot by it. So 15 to 20, end of one. Iowa with their biggest lead of the day. Woo, man. <laughs> this, is something, this is something. You guys, man, this is something else. This is amazing. So let me put second quarter. I'm going to put that up in there. Put a little bit of some of that in there. I want some of that. Ooh, give me some of that right there. Mm, mm, mm. Boom. 20 to 15, Iowa with the five point lead. Hang on, let me put, uh, let me update the stat line down below real quick. So, stat leader. So, the stat line, the awesome graphics down there, you guys already know what it is. It's the most awesomest graph, graphic 
you can have right there down below. A little scrolling down there. Clark with nine points, leading all scorers. That's at the game high stats. That's all I can fit up in there. Clark with nine points, leads all points. Stokey with four rebounds and two blocks. I thought she had three blocks. But Stokey leading all rebounds with four. Oh, man, I got to get my hustle on hand. I'm falling behind. I got to get my hustle on. Four boards for Stokey. Assist leader, um, Harrison still with two dimes. Steal leader, two for Quinerly. Quinerly getting up in there. I put Quinerly up in there. Quin er, I put Quinerly. There we go. Two. Boom. And then Wat or no, Wat Watson's still got a block. I like Watson a lot. I like watching her play too. Uh, I mean, I watch highlights, no doubt. You got to. You got to watch highlights. And you got to watch games. You got to. Why, why am I saying got to? You ain't got to do nothing. You guys, just you do you. You enjoy yourself. Just you do you. We're here in commercial break. I got nothing to talk about. I'm looking over stats real quick. So blocks. Stokey. Again, I thought Stokey had three blocks, but anywho, she got two. All right, is that right, Connerly? That's good. Gosh, she got her asking too much. You guys are asking too much out of me. So there we go. There's a stat line down below. Score up above. We're going in the second quarter. So first quarter stats, folks. 20 to 15, Iowa with a five point lead. They're shooting seven of 13 from the field, about 54%. Three of seven downtown. 43%, 3 of 3 from the stripe. West Virginia shooting 5 of 14 from the field, about 36%. Whew. Some good defense by Iowa. Closing out, I mean, no doubt about it. They forced three turnovers, but, well, five turnovers for Iowa. But, yeah, we've, I shouldn't even mention that. But I should have I should looked over that. <laughs> but West Virginia, 3 of 8 downtown, about 37%, 2 of 2 from the stripe. So both teams got a couple free throws. Six rebounds for West Virginia, one offensive. Eight or nine rebounds, one offensive for Iowa. So both teams have one offensive rebound. Both teams are, man, both teams are out there scrapping. What more can I say? Both teams are scrapping, folks. Led by Caitlin Clark, three of five downtown, nine points, three of six overall, two rebounds, one steal, or one assist. Off the bench, Kylie Fearbach, a steal. Off the bench. Uh, but Stokey, five points, four boards, two big blocks at the end of one. And four, West Virginia, five points for Watson. And Quinerly, leading scorer, coming in, averaging almost 20 points a game. She has five at the end of one, two steals, a rebound, and an assist. Three points for Blackston, and two points off the bench for Hemingway. Got to read me some Hemingway. Man, I got to get back to reading. I got to get back to reading, guys. Man, I got a lot of books. I love reading. Man, I love words. Man. Here we are, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Iowa City, Iowa. Final game of Caitlin Clark's, well, final home game of Caitlin Clark's career, folks. Commentators, Beth is out there, reporter Holly Rowe again on the sideline. Here's Kate Martin up top. Start of the second quarter, pass to Caitlin Clark for three, rims in and out. An offensive rebound by Kate Martin down low. Gets it off to a falter on the top of the key again, rims in and out, and bounces out of bounds. It's going to be West Virginia ball. We are starting the second quarter, folks. I'm putting second quarter. 20 to 15. Or I should have put end of one. Or I put end of one. I'll put it there. 20 to 15. There we go. I'll, put I'll try to put it end of quarter. And a rebound by Caitlin Clark and knocked out of bounds. It could be. It's going to be Iowa ball. So I'll put that end of the first quarter, 20 15, so I can remember like what the score was at the end of each quarter. I'll put it, I'll drop it in the chat. So end of the first quarter, 20 15. So we're starting the second quarter. 9 20 left here in the half. 20 to 15, Iowa. Let me get another drink. Iowa ball knocked out of bounds. Referees are talking it over. Man, I love referees. I used to ref, I used to coach. I used to play ball. I still play ball. I want to go back to I want to go back to coaching and refing again, but refing's refing's tough. Woo. Refing is tough, man. Especially when you call a technical on somebody. Woo. Try to call a technical on somebody when you're refereeing. Woo. Here's Stokey down low off the backboard, miss, knocked out of bounds. West Virginia ball. But yeah, it's amazing. Here we go. 
20 to 15. Clean my glasses, I got. All right, 20 to 15. Oh, let me get my stats out here. Oh, that's the wrong stat line there. Oops, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie doodles. And a long three missed. I think that was Fields on the in the corner. Rebound by Caitlin Clark, dribbling up the court. So 8.30 left now in the first half. Five-point lead and a low pass down low to Stokey. And a block and foul down low by, by Harrison. Harrison getting down low on a mismatch on Stokey. Harrison with a block and foul down low. Folks, what a beautiful day. If you haven't subbed, hit that sub button. Give me some confidence and motivation to keep on going. Cause, but regardless, I'm going to keep on going because I love doing this. It's amazing. And I love you guys being here. You guys are amazing listening in. All my regulars, all my chat, all my mods out there. You guys are amazing. You guys are beautiful. Hope you're having a beautiful day. And I say this in the future as well. If you're listening in the future, you stumble upon always chilling. I wish you a beautiful day as well because that's what it's all about. We're witnessing greatness. The final home game of Caitlin Clark's career right here. Inbounds pass to Stokey. 8.30 left here in the half and stolen away by Lauren Fields. Good steal. Left-handed. I like that. That was her opposite hand. Got to do a lot of opposite hand. Especially playing D. Got to work on that. Jumping off your opposite foot. Everything. Driven around up top is J.J. Quinnerly. Get the high screen from Moore. So Terza Moore steps in and a pass down low to Watson off the backboard. Missed and a big rebound by Martin again. And a long island pass by Clark to Falter in the lane. Left handed to Falter up and in. And a seven point lead and stolen away by Gabby Marshall on inbound pass. And she tried to save it and passed and stolen by Fields. 22-7, or 22-15, seven-point lead for Iowa with 7.30 left in the half. Here's Quinnerly dribbling around, juke move in the lane, jumper, knock it down, Quinnerly with the juke move. Woo, sidestep jumper. That was amazing. I like that. That was a good play right there by JJ. Woo. Man, here's Clark dribbling around up top of the key. Stokey trying to set a screen. Clark doesn't take it. Baseline jumper. Missed it. Rebound by Watson. Kaya Watson. When I say Watson, I say Watson like that all the time. There's Watson. Ah, oh, man. I catch my breath real quick. Here's J.J. Quinnerly dribbling up top. She's catching her breath as well. Seven minutes left. Here's Harrison. Back up top to Watson. Back in the corner and Hemingway, Hemingway taking it baseline on Stokey, picks up her dribble with two on the shot clock passing up top and a long three and missed an offensive rebound by Fields, or no, that was Moore, Moore off the bench for West Virginia, offensive rebound and put back 22-19. Here's a falter, gets it to Gabby Marshall on the wing, back to Kate Martin, to Clark on the wing, 15 on the shot clock. Looking down low to Stokey. Stokey high screen for Clark. In the pick and roll. Stokey down low. Beautiful pick and roll. Bounce pass to Hannah Stokey. Opposite hand off the backboard. Seven points for Hannah now. The beauty of the pick and roll, folks. To perfection. Kaylin Clark to Stokey as Quinnerly comes up hobbling. She's all right. She's got that knee brace on her right foot. She's got that jump man's. Uh, knee, knee band on the left knee. It's like a rubber band you wear on your knee. I used to wear that way back in the day, like back in the 90s. Like, man, I used, I used to wear those back in the 90s, early 2000s. I used to wear those. Like a jump man, like Stacey Ogman, I think, wore it. I think maybe Latrust pretty well. A few NBA players wore those. Maybe John Starks, maybe. I don't know. A few of them wore those. I used to wear them. And now I wear a knee brace on my right knee. My, I don't know. Now I can't send my mixtape out to international teams no more. No international teams won't want my, my, my international mixtape no more. <laughs> but the referees are talking over something over there. There's 6.05 left in the half. The referees are talking it over 24-19 Iowa with a five-point lead. The referees are talking over something. The officials are getting together. 24-19 with a five-point lead Iowa. Yeah. 
24-19, boom, 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 boom. Let me update that. Second quarter, 6.05 left in the half. Let me throw out some stats real quick. 7 of 22 shooting for West Virginia. 32% shooting for West Virginia right now. Free throws that for either, either team. Either, either. I think it's either. All right, here we go. Here's Quinn Early dribbling around behind the back. Splitting the D in the lane. I pass out top. I don't know who that is out top. I think that's Fields. And a long sweep at the Hemingway. Hemingway on the corner for three. Rims out. And O'Grady doesn't get the rebound. And down low to Hemingway. And left-handed rims in and out. And a big rebound by Kate Martin. 24-19. 5.30 left in the half. Woo. Beautiful. Here's Gavin Marshall down low to O'Grady getting tangled up. O'Grady getting the ball knocked out of bounds. And a jump ball knocked out of bounds. Iowa ball with 524 left in the half. Man, I got to take a drink now. I can't wait till half. I cannot wait till halftime, you guys. I got, 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 got no time. No time, no time. I got, 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 got no time. All right, 524 left in the first half. And bounce pass hit and Clark looking for somebody to pass too. Gets it in the Stokey. Stokey high post. High post picks up her dribble. With eight on the shot clock. Stokey on the wing. Stokey five on the shot clock. Gets it to Clark. Top of the key. Clark with the shot clock running down to Martin. Martin in the shot clock violation by Iowa. With 5-0-8 left in half. Seven turnovers for Iowa, but they cling to a five-point lead. There's Molly Davis on the sideline rehabbing her right knee. I think it was the right knee. Oh, get well, bad. Or Molly. I think I was calling that game, but get well, Molly. Everything set aside. This injuries and health is number one over everything. Family is everything. 24-19, under five minutes left. Here's Quinn Early, got knocked away, thrown away by Clark. Clark in transition, fast break, Clark off the glass and in, 26-19. Clark with 11. 4-9 shooting, three dimes in a steal. Three for six downtown for Clark, 26-19, 4.30 left in the half. Here's Quinn Early. Down low, gets knocked down by Stokey, no call. And she almost turns it over, knocked out of bounds. It is Iowa ball. <laughs> I think Gabby Marshall forcing that turnover. Gabby Marshall, everyone out there scrambling around, scrambling, diving around. But Caitlin Clark in transition, but amazing defense by Gabby and company. Kate Martin out there rebounding. And Iowa with a seven-point lead, another timeout, commercial break again. 4.26 left in the half, folks. I'm going to update my stat line down below as well. So 26.19, let me update that. Put that in there. Uh, 26.19, boom. All right, let me update my stat line down below real quick. So Caitlin Clark with 11 points. She leads all scorers. 11, boom, boom. Rebounding leader, Stokey with four rebounds, Martin with four rebounds. Let me see if I can put Stokey and Martin in there. Let me see. Stoke, I'll put Stoke and then Martin, boom. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Stokey, there I'll put Stoke and Martin. For assist leader, Harrison with two assists, Clark with three assists. So Clark took over. Assist leader, boom, boom. So commercial break, folks. Commercial break. Breaking news. Breaking news. It is commercial break. 26-19. Iowa with the seven-point lead. Their biggest of the game, I believe. I don't... I'm not... I'm not quite sure about that, but I will have to check. But Clark with three assists. Uh, steals. Let me see. Two... For Quinn Early, she still leads, and Stokey still leads with two big blocks. It's Stokey's block party, folks. Welcome to Hannah Stokey's block party, the sophomore. All right, so we're almost halftime. 4.26 left in the half. Iowa up 26-19. I 
I'm going to get a drink here real quick. I updated my stat line down below. My score up above. I'm rolling right along. Man. It's amazing. I am a, man, I rise up singing my song. One of these days. They're going to put me in the movies. All I got to do is act naturally. Mm. Georgia. I got music running through my mind all the time. Music. Life is like a song. That's for, for doggone sure. Life is like a song. I love singing. I love music. I just sing to Quince. I sing to my cat and just enjoy it. I dance like nobody's looking. I know I'm a real good dancer. Man. Man. This is amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys listening in, lurking around, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification, chatting away out there. We got too many chatters tonight. We got a lot of lurkers and listeners. I'm not a chatter myself. I'll be honest. I I watch a lot of live streams. I watch cooking streams. I love live cooking streams. I love live IRL streams. I love I, you guys are all amazing. You guys are all awesome. All the play by play hosts out there. Are you guys doing play by play commentating? All you guys doing watch parties out there. You guys are all awesome out there. Here's Caitlin Clark. Four minutes left here in the first half. Down low. Martin to Stokey. Stokey with a good save to Gabby Marshall. To Fearbach checking in. Ten on the shot clock. Fearbach on the wing. And a kick ball by Watson. But I just want to take this moment. I just want to take this one moment. Uno momento. To say that I appreciate all the play-by-play -play hosts out there. Because I do listen in. I just don't chat. and I sub to some other channels. And I sub to all these other channels. And. You guys are all amazing. All you guys out there IRL streaming and doing these live streams. and It's an amazing time. What a time to be alive. The greatest time in humankind to be alive right now. Right about now. Right about me. And a miss down low by Clark. With 340 left here in the first half. I will lead by 7. And down low missed. And blocked away by Stokey. But sometimes I just go rambling on. I do apologize. But that's the thing about... Play by play, announcing, commentating. I'm just giving you a little commentation over here. And we're all having a watch party. But you guys, if you guys are listening in, just want to hear a little commentating by always chilling over here. Sometimes I get a little philosophical. Philosophy. I love philosophy. I love Plato, Aristotle. Man, I love them all. Aristotle was the greatest. Plato was good. And missed down low by Hemingway. Speaking of Hemingway, amazing writer. Ernest. Ernest, I'll take a shot for you later. Man, Ernest was a drinker as well. I'm drunk again. 320 left in the first half. 26-19. Iowa with a 7-point lead. Folks, if you want, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I'm just going to be here calling this play-by-play -play announcing, commentating. Because that's what I'd love to do. I'm running out of gas here before the second half. Because I'm, I'm thinking about halftime. I'm thinking about eating that oatmeal cookie right now. I'm eyeballing that oatmeal cookie. <laughs> and here's a pass down low. Clark stolen away by Watson. Uh, so here we go. Three minutes left in the half. Here's Harrison. Long pass to Hemingway for three on the wing. Hemingway. Couldn't write a better script. Hemingway. Up by four, Iowa. <laughs> a single possession if you knock down a three ball and get that. <laughs> 240 left. Here's Clark, top of the key. Step back three, back iron, missing an offensive rebound. No, almost. Almost, Gabby. And Fields, past half court, gets it to Watson, to Harrison. Harrison to half court with 230 left, folks. 230 left in the first half. Iowa lead by four, 26 to 22. <laughs> I'm running out of breath. <laughs> I tried to throw it all out there. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> Here's more. <laughs> Here's the shot down low by Watson. <laughs> so Watson hits the shot down low. Kyle Watson with seven points, three of eight shooting. 
And West Virginia cuts the lead to two. A single possession. Here's Clark top of the key. Three ball missed. And the rebound by Fields. Under two minutes left in the first half. Iowa lead by two. 4-13 shooting downtown for West Virginia. 3 of 11 downtown for Iowa. Here's a long three by Hemingway in the corner. Rimmed out and a rebound by a falter with a strong rebound. Gets it to Clark. Pass half court. Buck 30 left. Clark dribbling in transition. Down low to Stokey. Triple teams Hannah Stokey. Knocked to the ground Hannah Stokey. Knocked out of bounds. And it's going to remain Iowa ball. Woo! Man. I'm trying to call everything I see. Everything I see on my screen, I'm trying to throw it out there for you guys. Beautiful minds out there. Because you guys listening there right now, you guys you guys have beautiful minds right now. You guys are creators. You guys are builders. Man, here's Clark down low to Stokey and turnover. Stokey couldn't handle with a buck 20 left. I will lead by two. I know you guys are hard workers out there. You guys, you know, I know you guys are builders and learners and creators and teachers. Man, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys listening in right now? I know you're amazing. Look at you. Listening in to always chilling, doing play by play right now. A buck ten left here in the first half. I will lead by two. Here's Harrison in the corner. Gets it out top to Hemingway. Hemingway looking for somebody to pass to. Down low to Watson. Watson uh, takes one too many steps. <laughs> Kyle Watson. <laughs> Woo. Kyle Watson packing her luggage and traveling all over the place. Getting whistled for the call there. Another turnover. Six turnovers now for West Virginia. Nine for Iowa with under a minute left here in the first half. Iowa lead by two, 26 24. Here's Martin taking the pass half court. Kate Martin handling on the rock, handing it off to Clark. Top of the key, guarded by Lauren Fields. Gets it to Gabby Marshall. To a falter. 12 on the shot clock. To Clark. High screen, Stokey, Clark, pick and roll, corner, Martin for three, back, I missed it. Rebound, Harrison dribbling up the court with 32 seconds left, about a five second difference between the shot and the game clock. Gabby Marshall drops to the ground. She gets back up, pops right up. Gabby Marshall with a, with a close in defense and double team, Kenton the Clark over there and Mar Harrison gets it to Watson with 15 on the clock, 10 on the shot clock. But a five-second difference for Iowa to get the ball back. Here's Harrison and tapped away, and Gabby Marshall went for the call, and Gabby Marshall getting scrappy over there. Gabby Marshall and Harrison getting scrappy. Gabby Marshall got a fixer here over there. Oh, man. It's amazing. Some good defense over there. Woo! And Kaylin Clark checking out of the game, getting a little breather. Oh, man. I got to catch my breath, you guys. You guys. Woo! Nine seconds left. Two-point lead for Iowa. Inbounds pass. Knocked out of bounds by Gabby. This is awesome. Coming up on the 8 o'clock hour here in the Midwest. 8 p.m. Central Time. March 25th, 2024. Nine seconds left here in the Regional. Two in Albany. Second round. Carver Hawkeye ran a long three by Hemingway. Brims in and out. Watching with the rebound and put back. No good. In halftime, a two-point lead for Iowa Hawkeyes. Woo! I gotta take a breather. I gotta eat me some oatmeal cookie over here. I'll play you guys some music. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is just back and forth. I'm getting woozy over here. I'm getting a little dizzy over here. I'm feeling a little bit discombobulated, but I'm on my P's and Q's. Man, I'm feeling good right now. I'm about to feel my oats right now, no doubt about it. I'm about to feel my oats right about now. And I'm about to chew into an oatmeal, walnut, raisin, peanut butter cookie. I put some brown sugar in there. Mm. How come it tastes so good, brown sugar? Mm. Mm -mm. I want to go to a Stones concert. They're going to be playing at Soldier Field or they're going to be playing in Chicago. Stones. Man, this is going to be a beautiful summertime. This is going to be a beautiful summertime. It's a beautiful day. I, I mean, I don't dwell on the past, and I don't think about the future too much. I just I, I, I just look for today. I just enjoy today. I love... 
anyways, I love being here right now with you guys. That's all I know. Let me take let me take a little sippy sippy. We're halftime. You guys take a little break, take a breather, sit back, relax, grab a snack, grab a drink. I know for doggone sure I'm gonna grab me a drink. Quincy's over here napping. I'll go through some halftime stats and stat leaders and yada yada yada. One sec. Cheers, you guys. It was a beautiful day. Monday. Man, what a beautiful Monday. What a beautiful start of the week. All this play-by-play, -play, everything set aside. The sun came out, sun shining bright. Even though it was a little overcast and a little windy, and right now we're about to hit some storms coming upon us. But, phew, man, it was beautiful out there. I got out there, and I got on my bike. I, I Man, I was pedaling through that wind. 50 miles, some odd wind, wind gust. I was just, I was cruising, man. But cheers, you guys. You guys out there, beautiful day out there. Wherever you may be listening around the world, I wish you a beautiful day as well in the future. If you stumble upon Always Chillin', I say this, I sound like a broken record. I got thousands of records. I got four, five, six broken record album players. I got one that has a good needle, but needles are expensive nowadays. But I sound like a broken record, but you guys are amazing. You guys are beautiful out there, lurking around, listening around, chatting away out there. I wish you a beautiful day as well in the future. If you're listening in on this replay, you want to find a, you know, a good genuine play-by-play -play announcer. I just try to stay genuine. I try to give you everything I see on the screen, everything I see. I try to just repeat and just play by play. That's what it's all about. And Quincy's up now, so that's it. You guys woke up Quincy. Oh, no, Quincy's up. Oh, man, he's got to have dinner. What time is it? Eight. Oh, it's 8.04. It's about an hour past dinner. He's over there crying. Quince! Cheers, you guys. Beautiful night. We're at halftime. I'm going through some halftime stats here. 26-24, Iowa with a two-point lead over number ranked, number eight ranked West Virginia Mountaineers. Shout out Mountaineers. Man, Mountain Mama, take me home. Mm. Man, mm. I gotta mix me up some more tea. I got some sweet tea. I had some strawberry mix. I mixed some strawberry mix up in there with some sweet tea. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take two of those. I said, look, man, come down here. I was drinking some, uh, some California brandy earlier. It was delicious. Mm. Brandy. Mm. I like brandy. So we're at halftime. <clears throat> I'm taking a little break. Quincy's over here meowing away. I'm going to think about an oatmeal cookie because I need something in my stomach. Even though I had some leftovers, I had ham and mac and cheese. But I'm calling the game over here. I'm play-by-play -play announcing. I'm commentating. Call it what you will. I'm having a good old time. Salutes. That was a good one. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, my goodness. Woo. All right. Let's get back at it. Let's get back at it, folks. So, halftime, 26-20. Let me update that. You guys, if you want, hit that like. Hit that subscribe if you want. Hit that notification when I go live. I go live every now and then. I live stream this and that. I'm an IRL streamer. I stream, live stream my life. Not all of my life, just the bits and pieces. You guys just see little bits and pieces of this and that. I love to cook. I love to hike. and I love to travel. I love sports. I love... I just love life. And I love IRL streaming. Like, I try to come up with new ideas. I got more ideas out there in the woodworks, but... I've been live streaming a long time. Sometimes I just take down my streams. I delete them and start all over. And I don't know. I'm done reminiscing. It ain't about me. It's about Iowa basketball. It's about Iowa and West Virginia. That's all it's about. So Caitlin Clark leads all scores with 11. 
Dalkey and Martin both with four rebounds, three assists for Clark at the half. Quir uh, Quinerly, <clears throat> Quinerly, gosh, JJ Quinerly, Quinerly. I got, I got to get that right. I love pronunciation, pronunciation. With seven points, Watson with seven. And off the bench, Hemingway with five for West Virginia off the bench. But Clark with 11. Hannah Stokey, seven points, four rebounds, three blocks for Stokey. So I got to update that. Stokey with three blocks. Boom. Put that in there. Just to give you guys a little something to little scroll and special graphics down low. I mean, I can't show my face. I mean, I can show my face if you guys want. I got a clean shave now. I, clean, I, I got a clean shave going on now. Man, summertime's here, you're like, man, man, living's gonna be easy right now. I mean, living's. Man, I don't know. Just words, everything's just words. What am I talking about? What am I talking about here? I'm talking about hitting that sub, hitting that like button if you want. I'm trying to pull up the stats here. So, I, I updated the stat line down below. We're at halftime. 20. Six to twenty-four. What? I'm at two forty-nine subs right now. <laughs> what? I almost hit two fifty. I almost hit a buck two fifty. If I hit three hundred tonight, that'd be just crazy tonight. I've been stringing a long time, but I mean, I've been doing play by play. I'm gonna be here for the long haul, you guys. If you guys listening in, lurking, listening in, if you guys love play by play, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna sit you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you straight. I'm gonna be honest and genuine and kosher and cozy, and I'm a wholesome streamer. I love it. I love play by play. I love sports. I love Iowa basketball, and I love Caitlin Clark. But I mean, like this Wednesday, I'm calling the 1992 Duke versus Kentucky. I'm doing way back Wednesday. I, I'm doing that, and then Thursday I'm doing the season opening MLB, the Cubs versus the Rangers, the, the defending World Series champion Texas Rangers, I'm doing Thursday, season opener, I think, t or first pitch is 635, I gotta check the, the starting lineups for that and all that, I gotta get that ready, but Friday, so let me give you a little, let me give you a little insight of how, how of, of how my mind works, how my craziness, how all this craziness works, okay, so every Wednesday, like way back Wednesday, not every Wednesday, I like every other Wednesday lately. Like I like way back Wednesday. I'm, I'm gonna, I like doing that. That's fun. I did 1960 Yankees Pittsburgh. Man, Mazeroski with a walk off homer. Whew. 1979 Indiana State, Michigan State. The Hick from French Lick, Larry Byrne. I did that game. 2016. Now I'm gonna do the 1992 Duke versus Kentucky. The shot, Kristen Leitner. Way back Wednesday, I got to set it up still, and I'll throw it out there. Usually I throw the stream up about an hour or two. So if you guys are listening in, if you guys are lurking and listening in, if you guys like my streams, if you guys just take the audio and do what you will and whatever, you have fun with it and just throw it out there. This Wednesday, I do. So I do way back Wednesday. So this Wednesday, I'm doing way back Wednesday, 1992, Duke versus Kentucky. I, I should throw my, um, I got my Twitter out there too. I got... I do that little X, or I do the X. I'm up on the X. Shout out, Elon. A beautiful mind. Man, beautiful minds think alike. Like, beautiful minds are intuitive. Like, like intuition is underrated, for, for one. Intuition is underrated. So, if you're intuitive, be intuitive. Like, like you know, stay in your lane. Know your role. Like, you know what I mean? That's why I like uh, Beast Mode so much. I like Beast Mode a lot. Beast Mode, man, Beast Mode. I like Beast Mode. Man, Marshawn Lynch. If you guys don't know Beast Mode, come on, man. But, uh, staying in your lane, Jack. But, um, I don't know where I'm going with that. But I'm at the half right now. I'm just blabbering on. Oh, so let me pop the halftime up in there. Hang on one sec. So half time, boom, half time, 26, actually 20, you yeah, guys, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little tipsy, <laughs> tipsy, <laughs> we got 24, 
I know I'm going to last the whole game. I know that for sure. So halftime, Iowa 26 for West Virginia 24. We're at the half. I honestly got to get more juice. Well, it's just a sweet tea. It's like, it's a lemon tea. Man, Juju Watkins, USC. Coming up next versus Kansas. Man, I like Juju. I like Juju Watkins a lot for USC. I used to live in L.A. Very near to, close to. Shout out OC. Shout out OC, Orange County. I used to live in L.A. I want to go to New York. I want to go to New York. I want to go to Boston. I've been to Florida. I want to hit all of, I want to hit all of the U.S. But I'm going to Yellowstone. If you guys are listening in, if you guys are lurking, if you guys like our, I'll be in Yellowstone in June for about two weeks. I'll be hiking the mountains and I'll be going face to face with some bears. And I got my bear spray. I got my, you know, all this other stuff. But, you know, you already know. Either way, I'm going to be hiking, be outside with it. I'll be camping. I'll be camping in the elements, off tracking. Man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I love hiking. I love being out there in the elements. If you guys love hiking, if you guys love outdoors, then you guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. If you guys love, like me, like, man, man, I love being outdoors. I love just being active and just get my blood pressure up and get my heart rate going. I love staying hype and litty right now, right now. I'll tell you right now, March Madness gets me hype and litty. Like, March Madness, phew, I was watching the men's, I was watching the women's March Madness, and now I'm all like, what am I going to do next? I already know what I'm going to do next. Tuesday, I'm taking off. Tomorrow, I'm taking off. Wednesday, I'll be back at it. Way back Wednesday, Duke, Kentucky. Thursday, I'll be back at it because it's the Major League season opener. The Chicago Cubbies, baby, against the Texas Rangers. Woo! The World Series champ, Texas Rangers. Man, I can't wait for that. That's Thursday night. And then when, or, uh, Friday, I'll be calling Duke in Houston. Oh, so that's my madness. Okay, so my madness, you guys listening to real quick. Gosh, I hope I have enough time. So on my way back Wednesday, it's a little hint real quick. So if you guys listening, if you guys are longtime listeners, if you guys are just lurking out there, Every time I do a Way Back Wednesday, it's going to have to do with something going on uh, later in the week. So, if you guys look back, I did the 1960 Yankees in, in Pittsburgh. So, I did that because it was a, it was a uh, spring training or spring games going on, Yankees in Pittsburgh going on. And then I did Michigan State and Indiana State because of March Madness coming up. And then I did 2016, the Cubbies winning the World Series, the greatest game seven of all time, in my opinion. The greatest, one of the greatest all time, man. And that was because that uh, season opener was the next night, and I didn't go live the next night. I know, I know. I had to cancel the stream. I had to cancel the stream because it was like 4.30 was the opener, Dodgers and Padres. I wanted to call it. I wanted to call it. I had it both set up. I had it Wednesday, Thursday set up. Last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Otani now with the Dodgers. Man, the Angels losing out on a good one. The Angels, bruh, you got to throw them a contract. You got to throw them a max deal. Now it's all on Trout's shoulders. I mean, who knows if he goes back out east. To, I mean, he's a New Jersey. He's a New Jersey man. So, But you guys, let me, let me refresh, see if I'm at... Um, let me see if I'm at 250 subs yet. You guys, if I'm at 250 subs, my, my, I'm at 249 subs right now. I was going to put up there if I had 250 subs, and my mind would just be blown like... So they're out there talking. So let me get some more juice real quick. Second half is about to start. I get some more juice. I'll be right back. One sec. I get juice. I'll be right back. I am coming back 
I'll come running back to you. I'm coming running back to you guys. Oh, man, I'm back. All right, I'm back. Got me some more juice. So here we go. Second half about to start. Hang on, I got my earbuds mis mixed up. I got earbuds in both ears. Right. Coach is talking it over. Okay, so we're at the half. 26, let me take half time out there. Third quarter about to start, you guys. Man, you guys, hit that like one time. Hit that like button just one time if you want. Yeah, Quincy over there just meowing away. He's awesome. You guys are awesome. But if you guys want to sub, if you guys want to sub and hit that sub button if you want, give me a little motivation. Keep on going. But regardless, as you guys know right now, I'm gonna keep on going because I, I love doing this. I love play by play. I love being here with you guys, passing a little time. It's a hobby of mine. I don't get paid no nothing. I enjoy it for the love of the sport, the love of play-by-play, -play, the love of Iowa, the love of Kayla Clark. And here we are, second half, underway, third quarter, second round, 2024 NCAA tournament, regional two in Albany, Carver Hawkeye Arena, attendance 15,500 to witness Kayla Clark's final home game of her college career. 26-24, and here's a three ball by Hemingway on the wing, missed on the wing, and a rebound of Foster, she's going to pick back half court, a Foster in the lane, long swing pass to Martin, down low to Stolke, Stolke in the post, strong move off the glass and missed it, and rebound, Fields, Quincy's on my desk here, he wants, probably wants some more, I got snacks up there, Quince, yeah, Quince, yeah, buddy, He's up here. Look, he's up here. He wants some. He's right here. Quincy's up here. He's right there. There's Quincy, guys. He's up here. Quincy, I got him some treats. He's awesome. Let me show you my Iowa shorts. I got my Iowa shorts on. Look at that. Boom. There's Quincy right there. That's, yeah, isn't he awesome? He's old. He's an old cat, you guys. He's about 17 years old. He's uh, he was my uh, great... My great grandmother's, my great grandfather's, or my godmother, my godfather's cat. And then I uh, took him all in. But that's Quincy right there. He's an amazing cat. But here we are, Caitlin Clark free throw line, knocking or knocking on the first, missing the second. So 28 24. Gabby Marshall up top, down low to Stokey, and a foul down low by Blackston. So 28-24, second quarter, second half, just getting underway. And that's the third foul on Blackston. Hang on one second, we get a drink. Mm. An inbound pass, knocked out of bounds, and it's going to... Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you want. I think that's probably going to be the last time I say it. It ain't about that. It's about having fun and just enjoying it. That's what I'm here for. I don't get paid, no nothing. It's, it's amazing. I love passing time with you guys. Almost a year in, 100 games in or so. Beautiful, beautiful time. Beautiful, amazing time. This is amazing. Man, it's amazing. I got, I'm here with my cat, just enjoying it. Quincy's over here on my desk, just enjoying it with me. We're watching the game. Caitlin Clark up top. 8.20 left in the third. 10 in the sack. Like at the high screen. Stokey pick and roll. Stokey down low. Long pass down. Martin out in the wing. Martin back iron. Missed it. Rebound. A big old rebound by Fields. Trailing by 4. 28-24. Down low is Blackston. Left handed off the glass. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water. <coughs> Here's Clark. Mm. And Clark throws it and knocks that bounce. So it's going to rain Iowa ball 28 26. Hang on a sec. Mm. Gotta stay hydrated. And Clark inbounds pass to Stokey down low. Stokey out to a falter. A falter gets a screen from Stokey in the corner to Martin. Martin hands it off to Clark for three on the wing. Clark with a pull-up three on the wing. Let's go, baby. 7.30 left in the third. A five-point lead for Iowa, 31-26. And the fans are on their feet. Up top is Harrison. 
On the corner to Quigley, Quigley taking it in the lane, jumper, rims out and knocked out of bounds, Iowa ball. Thirty-one twenty twenty-six. With seven minutes left, here's Clark through the pass half court. Clark on the wing. High post to Stokey. Stokey looking for somebody to pass through. Turns, faces, and knocked away. Stokey gets it back. Stokey in the post. Long pass out to. To Gabby Marshall for three. Gabby Marshall runs in. No, offensive rebound. A put back by a falter. A falter with an offensive rebound and put back. Gives Iowa a seven point lead. Eight points, five rebounds for a falter. And a timeout on the floor. Iowa lead by seven. 638 left in the third. Thirty-three twenty-six. Hang on one sec. Is that right? Yeah. So another TV timeout. Commercial break. Right? Isn't it thirty-three twenty-seven? Let me refresh. Let me refresh. Hang on, you guys. Quince is over here. He's Getting all up in my business. He's getting up, up in my business over here, Quince. So 3320. Hang on, what's that? Let me why didn't refresh? I had 249 subs. Let me see if I had 250. If I had 250 subs tonight, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm at 249 subs. Alright, let me go back here. Yep, so 33-26, Iowa with the seven-point lead with 6.38 left in the third. Let me update my stats down below real quick, too. Quincy's over here chilling with me now. 16 points for Clark. She leads off scores. He got 16. Stokey. So Stokey has seven rebounds. She leads all rebounders now. Let me put Stokey with seven. Stokey just dominating now down low. You can tell Stokey's starting to take over. Assist, three assists for Clark. Well, four for Harrison. Uh, Quinerly with two steals. Watson with two steals. Three blocks for Stokey. Okay, that's good. All right. So we're commercial break. 26-33. Iowa with a seven-point lead. It's amazing. I'm gonna type that in there. I'm, not, I'm putting that up in there. I'm I'm typing to you guys. You guys, you guys out there listening their way. I'm I'm typing to you right now. Amazing, amazing game, y'all. Beautiful night. I know it's GHT, but I'm just gonna keep it short. Keep it short and simple. Keep it simple. Amazing game, y'all. Beautiful night. That's it. That's all I'm gonna chat to you. That's all the the sweet nothings I'm gonna whisper to you guys. The ASMR. The ASMR. Oh man. Look, Claire Kittle and George Kittle in the crowd. George Kittle in the crowd! The 49ers! Nancy Lieberman in the crowd, the 1996 Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. Nancy Lieberman in the house tonight at Carver. Hawkeye Arena, 15,000 plus fans, 15,500 and change. You got some standing room and bar standing over there. And, ah, oh man, nosebleeds. Ah, oh man. I miss being at games. I want to be out of the game. I'll probably be going to a Rockets game here next. Anyways, here's the Moss Pass. Here's Quinn Early up top. Quinn Early gets it to Harrison. Harrison, top of the key. Trailing by seven. Six minutes left here in the third. In the corner is Blackston for three. Rims out. Rebound Clark. Caitlin Clark dribbles up the court behind. And a long screen pass to Falter for three on the wing. A Falter. Rims out. And an offensive rebound by Stokey. Hannah Stokey gets it to Falter. To Clark for three. Clark. Caitlin Clark for three on the wing. The most beautiful stroke. 19 points. 
five of ten downtown. Woo! Let's go. Here's in the lane field to Blackson top of the key. Blackson back iron rimmed out and rebound tipped around and rebound Gary Marshall gets it to Clark. Clark down low to Stokey and Stokey is fouled. 36-26, Iowa with the 10-point double-digit lead, their biggest margin of the game on another three by the GOAT, Caitlin Clark. I was watching the replay, man, well, amazing. I, li I like her. That's a good shot. Good shot. Get that oh, on that ball. Like keep the ball, like good form, good shot, good good shot. You guys out there listening in, you guys out there coaching. Man, you guys, everything. So here's Stokey. So now it just froze up. Hang on one sec. 522 left. Now, of course it's gonna freeze up. Oh, anywho. 3626. So 3626. Hang on one sec. Let me refresh. Boom. Man, thirty-six twenty-six. Thirty-six twenty-six. Five twenty-two left, and it freezes up. Let me refresh. We don't want to pull for So 522 left in the third, 3626. And in the meantime, while it loads up, I'm going to run through where they're at in their career, folks. As Caitlin Clark, this is her final home game of her career. She's a senior. This is the last game at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Kate Martin's a senior. Gabby Marshall was Gabby Marshall a senior. Sydney Falter Jr., Hannah Stokey sophomore, Taylor McCabe sophomore, Kylie Furback Jr. You got Johnson freshman, Jones freshman, Goodman Jr., O'Grady Jr., and you got Molly Davis, the senior, on the bench today. Uh, injured with the knee injury. Get well, Molly. Man. Uh, Yamfi, a sophomore, and an Ediger, a junior. Um, but there's a lot of seniors on the lineup, or a lot of seniors on the team. Harrison, sophomore, Quinnerly Jr., List West Virginia, Field Sr., Watson Jr., Blackson Sr., Hemingway Sr., Arig Babu Jr., Moore Jr., Hunter, Sophomore, and Dig Sr. Those are the ones that will probably most likely play today. Um, let me go back here real quick. So 36-26. Ooh, Quincy's me on. Actually, I missed the three ball. So 38-29. Uh, no, so 38-29 TV timeout. <laughs> Quincy's crying. Let me see what he's doing. Clint, get over there. Clint, my skateboard's right there. He's over there. Clint, buddy, have a merry Christmas there. All right, I gotta get him some dinner. We go ahead some dinner. So it's commercial break right now. Commercial break. I'm gonna get Quincy some dinner. My cat some dinner. You guys, it's commercial break. Commercial break, okay. So, what is it? Oh, 3829. Commercial break, 3829. Take a quick break. Walk away, walk away. 3rd quarter, 5 or 431 left. I'm going to walk away and get Quincy some dinner. I'm going to just throw a little more food on his plate. 3829, Iowa with a 9-point lead. 431 left in the 3rd. West Virginia shooting 11 to 36, 31 percent. Iowa shooting 14 to 33, 42 percent. I'll be right back. One sec. Commercial break. One sec, guys.
Alright, I'm back to you guys. I am back. I told you I would come back to you. I told you I'll come running back to you guys. You guys are the greatest. Here we go, inbound pass to Martin. She saved it in a turnover. Stolen away by Quinn Early. Quinn Early in the fast break to Hemingway down low, and the lead is cut to 7 38 31. Four minutes left in the third. I'm back. An offensive foul. Who was that on? By a falter. Offensive foul by a falter. 38-31. You guys, sometimes I get a little little hype and lit and I just I'm I'm enthusiastic. I'm an enthusiastic guy. I'm a hype train. I, I enjoy life. And I enjoy being here with you and I enjoy play by play and I enjoy Iowa. Caitlin Clark, I enjoy basketball. Play by play. I'm not gonna apologize for being myself. Don't apologize for being yourself. Don't apologize for being genuine. I haven't drank wine in a long time, but wine makes you sleep. But you guys, we're here. Harrison's at the free throw line. Jordan Harrison, the sophomore, on the season shooting eighty-one percent from the free throw line, and she rattles home the first, cuts the lead to six. Six point lead for Iowa, 348 left in the third. Harrison shooting the second. All oh, big 12 second team, Jordan Harrison. Back iron, miss a second, rebound, a falter. Gets it to Martin, one sec. And knocked out of bounds. Kate Martin. <coughs> Woohoo! Man. Ah. Ooh, that one. Who was that? Uh, Iowa Ball then. 340 left. Down low to Kate Martin. Kate Martin with a strong move. Turn around. Fade away. Rattles out. And a rebound. Watson. Gets it to Harrison. Harrison to Quinn Early. You guys listening in, you already you guys know. You guys know good good stuff when you when you hear it or when you see it. You know it. I know you know. I know you know I know. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Here's Hemingway to, to Quinn Early for three on the wing, knocking it down, cutting the lead to a single possession. 13 points for J.J. Quinn Early. 38-35, a three-point lead with three minutes left in the third. Threes are wild. Here's Stokey on the wing. Stokey dribbling around. Stokey with the handle, the dribbling skills, and knocked out of bounds. It's going to remain Iowa ball. Woo! But, folks, J.J. Quinnerly with a pump fake over Martin, jacking up a three, knocking it down on the wing. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! We have ourselves a ball game, folks. Two of six downtown for West Virginia in the second half. And an offensive foul by Hemingway. 38, let me update this real quick, 38, 35, what's that? 38, 35, boom, 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 boom. Get up in there, get up in there, we're in there. Four turnovers for Iowa in the second half, one for West Virginia. Here's a pass on the wing, Quinn really takes the baseline and knocked around and watched it off the backboard and missed and rebounds Stokey. Gets it to Kayden Clark, Clayton Clark dribbling off the floor and she's fouled by what? 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 Watson, nah. <laughs> but nah, you guys listening in right now, I got, you guys are awesome. You guys already know. You guys are amazing. Because we're witnessing greatness here. We're, we're calling it. We're play-by-playing it. We're announcing it. We're commentating it. We're watch-partying it. It's Caitlin Clark knocking down the free throw, giving the Iowa Hawkeyes a four-point lead with 2.29 left in the third. Clark knocking down the second. Clark has 21 points now, folks, with two and change remaining in the third. 7 to 14 shooting for Clark. Three dimes. She's 5 of 10 downtown. Five boards. Also got a steal. Here's Harrison dribbling around. Gets in the corner. Watson for three. Watson for three in the corner. Cuts the lead to two. She's got 10. 
Kyle Watson. Here's Clark on the wing. Clark dribbling around on Hemingway. Double teamed on the wing and stolen away by Harrison. In transition, hands it off to Quinn nearly off the glass. Missing it. Rebound. Harrison knocked out of bounds. Iowa ball. It is Iowa ball with the buck 47 left in the third. Yeah, this is awesome. This is something else. This is this is history. This is epic. I wouldn't miss this for the world, you guys. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now. A buck forty left in the third. Two point lead for Iowa. Kate Martin drills past half court. Gets it to Clark. Clark dribbling out up top on Harrison. Clark step back three on the wing. Rattles out. Kate Martin offensive rebound. Put back and one. Kate Martin with an offensive put back. And one. Woohoo! How many boards is that for Kate Martin? Let me put. So 38. I'm gonna wait to update it. It says 42, 38, 125 left in the third. Holly Rowan, the sideline reporting and knocking it down. Kate Martin, 43, 38, folks. A five point lead for Iowa with 120 left. About 80 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Harrison driven around on the wing, double teamed. Gets it to Watson. Over in the wing to Hemingway for three. Rattles out. And rebound tap to Clark. With under a minute left. Clark down low to Stokey and knocked out of bounds. It's going to remain Iowa ball with 25 on the shot clock. 101 left in the third. Kate Martin, five points, six rebounds. Man. This is, this is unbelievable. 101 left. Inbounds pass to Stokey. Down low. Stokey dribbling around on the wing, hands it off to Clark. Guarded by Hemingway. Clark step back, driving in the lane, jumper, and one. Kaylin Clark, and one. Let's go. A six point lead for Iowa, 45, or seven point lead, 45 38, 49 seconds left in the third. Kaylin Clark stepping back. Faking the three, driving the lane, up and over Hemingway, and one. woo Let's go. Kevin Clark for the line, rattles in and rolls home. Rattles in and rolls home. 46. 38. This is amazing. This is awesome. Eight point lead. Here's Watson up top. Down low to Moore. Moore in the post. Gets it tapped away and stolen away by Clark. Clark past that court. In transition. Dribbling around. On the wing. Elbow. Backs it up a little bit. Shot clock is off. 20 on the clock. 20 seconds left in the third. Eight point lead for Iowa. Clark dribbling around the top. 12 seconds left. Guarded by Quinnerly. Between her legs. Dribble. Crossover. Step back. Pass to Falter. Martin on the wing. Blocked and fouled by Watson. And a foul by Kaya Watson. I think, well, there's one second left in the third, but Kate Martin stepped back, and it was blocked. I don't know what, what happened there. So Wat, Watson's, or Wat, Watson, I think that might, may have been a foul, may, may have been. So Caitlin Clark checks out of the game with one second left here in the third. Eight point lead for Iowa and Kate Martin is shooting free throws. Kate Martin shooting three free throws, folks. 
<laughs> so Kaylin Clark getting a quick breather, Stokey getting a breather, Gabby Marshall getting a breather. They're all the starters getting a quick breather here before the end of the third, folks. At the end of the third, I'll run through some stats. I'll run through some stats down below. I'll update the awesome graphics. You already know what it is. I'm already... Man, I'm feeling my oats. I'm so far gone right now. I'm two hours streaming in. My head is light. But I'll I'll recollect. I'll get cool, calm, collective. And I'll be always chilling. Because that's who I am. Always chilling here. Play by play. Announcing. Commentating. We're all having a watch party. As we witness Kate Martin knocking down the first of two free throws. 11 for 12 for shooting from the free throw line for Iowa. 3 for 4 from West Virginia. And Kate Martin rattles out the second. And a big rebound by Moore. And that's the end of the third. A 10 point double digit lead for Iowa. Going into the fourth and final quarter, the final home game of the season, the final home game of Kaelin Clark career. This is it, folks. One quarter left. We're going into the fourth. Grab a quick breather. Man, I got to grab me a breather. I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I'm doing this. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I know I'm a real good dancer. Guys, I don't know what to talk about. Let's talk about halftime stats. I was going to talk about music again because I love music. I love thrifting. I love going thrifting. Yeah. Let's talk about some stats. You guys didn't care. You guys didn't come here to hear me chat and talk and this and that. You came here for Iowa basketball. You came here for Caitlin Clark. You came here for Iowa Hawkeyes. They lead by ten, going into the fourth quarter, folks. The three peat Big Ten champs, Iowa Hawkeyes, against the number eight West Virginia, just defeated Princeton in the first round. Quinterly dropped twenty nine. And today, Caitlin Clark has 24, Quinterly has 13, Watkins has 7 or 10. Let me update my stats down below. So 48, 38, fourth quarter. Hang on. Oh, man. So 24 for Clark, 9 rebounds for Stokey. I'm catching my breath, to be honest. <laughs> this is this is see you guys there's something else Harrison with six assists damn Harrison's dropping six dimes come on Jordan man oh my Jordan like nowadays I don't know who they like back in the day I used to see I used to, like Reggie Miller I used to shoot like Re Re Reggie Miller was my one of my favorite all time shooters like Reggie Miller look, shout out Reggie Miller Yo, shout out Cheryl, too. She's a good shooter, too. Both from UCLA, too, man. Shout out UCLA. But anyways, I used to see... I like Reggie Miller, like... Man. What, what was I talking about again? I don't know. Let me, let me fix this real quick. But six assists for Harrison. Let me see, Harrison. I gotta give Harrison six assists. Put that up in there. So, here, so on it. How many? Uh, let's see, six. I'm talking to myself. I'm seeking expert advice, okay? You guys catch me talking to myself? That's because I'm seeking expert advice. Let me see, block. Two blocks for Blackstein. And Stalky with three blocks. That's good. That, I'm done. I'm done. Call it a day. I'm freaking, I'm seeing doubles over here. I'm freaking, freaking seeing doubles. I, I, I can't chat anymore. I'm done chatting. You guys want to out there chat the way you guys, I put a little, I put the chat up there. I put a, I even, I even put a little pin on it. I pinned that chat for you guys tonight. No spam, no toxicity. Chat is open, you guys. Even you guys just listening and lurking around. You guys are beautiful. You guys are amazing. Because you guys know what's, what's good. You guys know what's... Mm. Mm -mm. There's some good stuff right here. 
this is the real deal McCoy. This is the this is the real McCoy right here. Whew, it's the real deal Holyfield right here. Actually, if you guys like boxing, so I'm gonna be calling the Tyson Fury fight in May. I'll be calling that fight. So I like boxing. I'm I like boxing. I'm a, I'm a boxer. I like boxing. I like working out and this and that. But blah blah blah. But I like boxing. I'll be calling the Tyson Fury boxing the championship. Actually, there's two titles, uh, two title, uh, two belts on the line. Actually, four, I think, something like that. So I'll be calling boxing. I'll be I'll be expanding a little bit. I do way back Wednesdays now. Way back Wednesday this this Wednesday coming up. Yada yada yada. But I'll be calling boxing here soon. I'll be calling boxing in UFC. I like UFC. I like I like UFC a lot. Shout out Dana White, man. I love sports. I love being active and just like keeping in shape. Like, like you want to like strive to be like Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, man. Read upon Alexander the Great. Huh? I love philosophy. I see uh, Aristotle taught him a little bit. But here we go. Four point or fourth quarter. You guys, smash that like if you want. Just don't break your computer. Smash that like. Hit that subscribe if you want. Hit that notification when I go live. I'm an IRL streamer. I love cooking. I love hiking. I love being outdoors. I love play-by-play -play lately for the last year or so. I love commentating and I love being here with you guys. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys listening in right now, wherever you're around the world. Philippines, Germany, Russia, everywhere, you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Salute. Cheers, you guys. Beautiful day. Beautiful Monday. March 25, 2024. Going into the fourth quarter. The second round. Iowa lead by 10 over West Virginia. Here's Martin. Do a falter. A falter. Down low to Clark. In the lane. Blocked away by Fields, I think. Here's Harrison in transition. Harrison. Down low. Hands it off to Quinn Early. Long swing pass to Fields down low. I think Moore is in there. That's Moore. Moore down low off the glass. And turns to Moore, the junior, for West Virginia, cutting the lead to eight with 9.30 left. One more, one more. Man. 63% shooting from the free throw line for Tourism and Moore. I get one of these. This is, this is awesome. You guys are awesome. 48-40 and Moore missing the free throw. 48-40. 9-20 left in the game. Here's Clark dribbling around in the corner. Or in the wing. I'm sorry. In the wing. Double team. Down low to Gabby. Gabby backs it out. Good to DeMartin, down low to Stokey, and tipped out of bounds. It's going to be West Virginia ball, 48-40. Yeah, what's that? That's a lot. That's a, I'm going to 10 to 15 turnovers for Iowa. What? 15 turnovers for Iowa? Eight turnovers for West Virginia. 15 turnovers. Come on, man. Gosh. You play to win the game. You play to win the game. And here's the down low blocked away by Stokey. And Stokey with the big block on Quinnerly. I think that was Quinnerly. JJ getting blocked down low. I like JJ Quinnerly. Or Quinnerly. I like, I like her a lot. She's a good player. Leads the team in scoring. Right? 19.9 points a game. Let me see this. 19.9 points a game, 2.7, she does everything, 2.9 steals a game, come on, Cornelia all out there, and just, whew, man, here's Watson on the corner for three, knocking it down, whew, Wat Watson with that cold-blooded three-pointer on the wing, cutting the lead to five, man, she got that Navy Seal, like, heart rate over there, like, man, keeping it right, down by five, 820 left, Iowa with a five-point lead. Here's a falter. Top of the key. Guarded by Hemingway. A falter. Gets it to Watt, or, uh, Martin. 
Martin to Clark, Clark guarded by Harrison, Harrison, Clark with the step back three, short, and the rebound, Harrison, she's pushing it, Harrison in transition, up and in, a charging foul, and Gabby Marshall, woo I think they called a charge on that, and 48-43. Gabby Marshall, Gabby Marshall draws the charge in that. That was a foul. So Quinnerly with three, Harrison three, Blackstein three, Watkins three, or Blackstein with four. And here's an offensive foul on the other end. So an offensive foul on both sides. So offensive foul by West Virginia, offensive foul by Iowa. It's West Virginia, or I, I don't know. Now it's Iowa ball. I don't know. Martin with the ball. I don't know. Eight minutes left in the game. Here's Gabby on the corner. And a foul away from the ball. So a five-point lead. 48-43. 48-43. You guys, if you're listening in, if you love old school radio, I'm always chilling. I just want you to know. You guys, you, guys, you know where it's at. That's, that's where it's at. <laughs> that's where it's at. You guys are amazing. Old school radio podcast. That's, that's where it's at. It's a love right here. Here's Caitlin Clark. In the corner to Gabby for three. Gabby back iron. Rims out. Rebound knocked. And Watson knocked out of bounds. And it is going to be West Virginia ball. Trailing by five with 737. Quincy is crying to get on out of here. Actually, he got, he got, he got dry food. He got. He had a can of wet food today. He had a little bit of snacks. He's good. He's amazing. We got 737 left. Five point lead for Iowa. And West Virginia ball. Harrison bringing it past half court. 730 left in the game. The final home game here at Carver. Hawkeye Arena. 15,000 plus fans. And here's a three by Fields, rims out, rebound Clark, seven minutes left. And long up, has a Stokey down low, Stokey is fouled. And he, the Stokey, the sophomore, going to the line to shoot two with 7.13 left in the game. Woo, I'm getting lightheaded. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little woozy. Woo. And Hannah Stokey back iron the first one. 48-43, five-point lead, you guys. It's, I mean, sometimes I look at the view count and I look at all this and I look at the chatter and it just it's a piece myself to realize that I'm doing this. That I'm, I'm enjoying it, for one. And I'm, I, I love doing this. That's all there is to it. That's all that comes to mind. When when play by play, when sports and Iowa basketball and Caitlin Clark and all this and all this play by play, especially when all this comes to mind, I just think about. I just think about man. I love doing that. Like I, I love being there. It's amazing. I wouldn't miss this for the world, yo. Seven minutes left. What? In the rebound by Caitlin Clark, leading by five. Seven minutes left. I wouldn't miss this for the world. So. I mean, if you guys want to like, if you guys want to sub, if you guys want to hit that notification for in the future when I go live, do what you will. You do you, but I'm going to do me because I know I love doing this. I don't get paid no nothing. I do this to pass a little time to enjoy it. I just, for, this is for real, for real. Like Derek, Derek for real. Like Derek, for real. I love being here. You guys are awesome. But I know for one, I know one thing, and that is that I know nothing. So 6.30 left here in the fir- or fourth quarter. Five point lead for Iowa. He's getting Clark step back three in the wing. Short and rebound tipped around and rebound by Watson. Gets it to Harrison. Long on that pass in the corner. 
to Hemingway in the lane, juke move, pump fake, knocked out of bounds. It's going to remain Iowa ball or uh, West Virginia ball, mind you. My sincerest apologize. Man. So, I, I haven't updated the score in a minute. In a good hot minute. 48-43, 6 12 left in the fourth. 48-43, inbound pass to Watkins, Watson down low and missed, and rebound by Harrison, the smallest player in the floor at five foot. I think Harrison's like five, let me see Harrison, Jordan. But knocked out of bounds, yeah, Harrison's only, well, she's five, six, she played bigger than that. Harrison plays like a big old, man, man, land of the Giants, and Kaitlyn Clark, is bloodied on the right knee, and she's going to need a patch and some bandage and some some good old loving over there on the right knee. Kayla Clark is scraped up, and they're going to wrap a patch around the right knee. Little jumper's knee patch over there. Man, I want to get out there and play right now. Right now, I'm, I'm watching this. I want to get out there and shoot. I want to get out there and play right now. You guys, if you guys are out there listening in, watching, like, like, if you guys are watching, if you guys love sports and you guys love play-by-play, -play, like, all this set aside, all this play-by-play, -play, all me announcing and talking to your ear, but whatever it is, Quinn Early missing the three in the corner, Harrison with a put-back, offensive rebound put-back, cutting the lead to three, a single, a single doggone possession? What? A three-point game, 7-0 run by the Mountaineers in the last four minutes and change. And the Mountaineers cut it to three with 540 left in the game. Here's Clark with a step back three. Back iron missed it. Rebound. Hemingway gets it to Cornelly. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I was saying over there. Here's Watson. Gets it to Harrison. Top of the key. 520 left in the game. Three point game. In the corner to Hemingway for three, knocking it down! What? You got to be kidding me! We got ourselves a tie ball game. 48 apiece with 5.07 left in the game. The second round NCAA 2024 tournament. Woo! Oh my god. Bruh. You cannot. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. What? Quincy's out of the room. He's over here. He's off in the other room. I'm over here. He got spit on my chin. <laughs> Oh man, commercial break. Uh -huh. Forty-eight apiece. Five oh seven left in the game. I'll run through some stats real quick. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Let me update my stats down below real quick. Let's see, Caitlin Clark, twenty-four points. Stokey with nine rebounds, leads all rebounders, assist. See, Harrison with seven assists now for Harrison, leads all assists with seven. Shout out Jordan Harrison. Uh, steals Quinerly with three. In block party, four blocks for Stokey right now. Let me update that real quick. Boom, okay, that's good. I'm going to wipe off my chinny chin chin. Boom. Alright. Now look. Alright. Get back on my P's and Q's. Man. Gotta cross my gotta cross my T's and dot my eyes, y'all. We're in the fourth quarter. 507. Man, I'm feeling my oats right now. If you guys are not feeling your oats, I don't know where you've been. You've been living under a rock. I've been living under a rock. Oh man. Man, shout out everyone out there. I told you, we got a chat out there. So it looks like Always Chillin' was the only one in the chat tonight, but David tonight. I told you when you have a weak link in the mark. No production, ever good luck. Man. 
Shout out David in the chat. Shout out all the chatters, all the listeners, all the lurkers, everyone out there. All you, all my mods out there. You guys already know. You guys are beautiful. I did, man. This is amazing. I mean, it, it shows I got 20 some odd, whatever it is, whatever you guys, whatever. You guys want to hit that sub, hit that like, do what you will. I'm out here having fun about five minutes past 9 p.m. Central Time. On the 25th of March, 2020, Fizzo. I can't believe I'm here right now. Calling the second round of the 2024 Women's Championship Tournament. No doubt I would be here because I love play-by-play and I love college basketball. I love Caitlin Clark and Iowa basketball. Gosh, I love it. Man. Quincy's over there meowing around. He got, I mean, Quincy's over here meowing. He got, Quince, I got to collect my thoughts over here. Quincy's over here meowing. My cat's over here meowing. He's, he's over the hill like me almost. I'm, I'm almost over the hill. I'm, I'm enjoying it though. Like, you got to just be genuine. Be yourself. Don't care about no opinions. Just go out there and create and teach. And keep on learning and don't be complacent. Like, come on. Well, here we are. Under five minutes left. 48 apiece. Here's Stokey to Clark. On the wing, down low to Stokey. Stokey, down low in the lane to a falter on the top of the post. The falter driving. And Sydney, a falter going to the line for two. A falter is fouled. Oh, I hope she gets up. Get up, get up. Okay, Sydney falters up. Woo. David, you're awesome. David and Goliath. David versus Goliath. You guys, I'm going to... Okay, listen. Right now, I got 28 watchers. If, if that's even right. I got 28. Maybe if there's some bots in there. I don't... I mean, I don't even know. Like, there's 27. If there's, if that's even real. I mean, YouTube, I don't even know if anything's real right now with the, with the Matrix and all this glitching out and all this other stuff going on right now with all the world and all this other stuff and... You guys, if you're listening in right now, if you're listening in, I wish you a beautiful day. Like, maybe there's only one listener, and maybe there's a dozen, maybe there's two dozen, maybe there's a baker dozen. Man, I love bacon, I love cooking. But if you're listening in, I wish you a beautiful day. That's all there is to it. That's all. At the end of the day, if you're listening in in the future as well, if you stumble upon always chilling, play by play, calling the second round of the NCAA Women's Tournament 2024. I wish you a beautiful day as well because that's what it's all about. I don't want to whisper. I don't want to whisper like FJB right now. 50 to 48. And here's Caitlin Clark down low missing it and rebound tapped out of bounds. 411 left here in the first or fourth cross. She can't first. It's like I want to start over. So 50 to 48. Iowa with the two point lead, folks. 411 left. Inbounds pass to Martin. Get me another one of these. You guys are awesome. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe if you want to. I'm almost at 250 subscribers. I have to double check and refresh. But if I hit 250 subscribers tonight, man, I'll be, regardless, I'm appreciative. Could you guys get me motivated? You guys get me. The confidence, regardless if you guys like or not, or if you guys subscribe or not, I'll be keep on keeping on. Because I love doing this. I don't get paid. I love doing this. I love sports. If you guys are listening in right now, I may be a little tipsy, but whatever it is, whatever. I'm feeling my oats right now because it's the fourth quarter right now. Two-point game right now. Iowa with the lead. And the corner ball three by Hemingway. Missed and rebound. Down low by Moore. Knocked out of bounds. West Virginia ball. So two-point lead. For Iowa, 344 left turn at 2024 NCAA second round women's tournament. Always chilling here doing play by play. And I wish you a beautiful day. Here's the inbounds pass to Watson and a timeout on the floor. So a timeout on the floor. 344 left. A two-point lead for Iowa Hawkeyes. Man, I feel like Forrest Gump over here. I gotta, I gotta go pay. 
I gotta pay. What? You guys, I just refreshed. I just refreshed my screen. And it appears to be that I got a, a 251 subscribers now. What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome I, I, you guys are awesome all the 250 subs right now you guys you guys are amazing because you guys know you guys you guys understand you guys know you guys are awesome i wish you a beautiful day if even you guys even y'all listening in i wish you a beautiful day as well if you're lurking around you're chatting around I don't chat. I lurk. I watch. I observe. And I enjoy it. And I'm enjoying this right now. Two point lead for Iowa. In Moss Pass, Harrison, West Virginia. Down low to Watson and knock. Actually, that was more down low with the hook shot. Tying it up at 50. But, um. Anyways, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm always chilling. I'm playing the play announcer, commentating. We're all having a watch party, blah, blah, blah. We're in the fourth quarter. 320 left in the fourth. In the second round, 2024 NCAA tournament. Tied at 50, number eight, West Virginia, number one, Iowa. Here's Clark. Pass to Gabby to a falter. Back to Clark. Clark driving in the lane. Clark and fouled. And Kaylin Clark going to the line to shoot two with 3-10 remaining in the game. Woo! <laughs> and she makes the first. 51. I'm going to update my score real quick. 51. And knocks down the second, 52 51. 15 and 19 shooting from the free throw line for Iowa, 3 for 5 for West Virginia, and a foul at the other end on Harrison by Gabby. The third on Gabby. So three minutes left. I will lead by two points, 52 to 50. And a strong drive by J.J. Quinnerly. <laughs> this, this is amazing. Tied at 52, 2.45 left. And it's Kenan Clark on a drive off the glass, missing it. And a big, strong rebound by Kyle Watson. Tied at 52, 2.30 remaining in the game, folks. You couldn't write a better script. This is amazing. Here's Hemingway up top to Harrison. Let me turn this off. Five in the shot clock, Harrison, dribbling around. Pass to Cornelius, blocked away by a fall. Left-handed, off the glass, and one. 54-52. Let me put 54. I gotta use the bathroom. Man. And the falter knocks it down 55 52, folks. A three point lead for Iowa. Oh, wait, 55. Boom. There we go. Pass down a little Watson. Watson in the corner and Hemingway for three. Rattles in and out. Rebound Clark. And a f and Clark's going to slow it up. So bodies tumbling to the ground. 
Oh man, with Stokey going to the ground. Here's a long shot and a rebound by Stokey down low and she's tangled up by Harris, knocked out of bounds. Iowa ball with 118 left in the game. Iowa lead by three. So they're talking it over whether or not it's Iowa ball or not. So 55-52, Iowa with the three-point lead, 118 left in the game. Official review. Hang on. Oh my gosh, what is it there? Um. Yeah, the officials are still reviewing it. So whether or not Hannah Stokey knocked it out, or I think that was Harrison, Jordan Harrison. One eighteen left in the game, folks. Three point lead for Iowa, fifty five fifty two. Here in the fourth quarter, in the second round of the twenty twenty four NCAA tournament. I'm always chilling. You're always Doing play by play, commentating, announcing, and we're all having a watch party. Oh man, I was still in the. Man. So, two timeouts remaining for West Virginia. So, after review. We're in Iowa Ball, I think. Let me get this real quick. Hey, Quince. Quince, you came here to enjoy the party. We're all having a watch party. You guys are amazing out there. My cat's over here. Inbounds pass to Falter, so 18 on the shot clock. A Falter inbounds pass to Martin. Here we go. 115 left. Back to a Falter. On the wing, get the high screen from Stokey, doesn't, or she does take it, gets it down low to Stokey in the post, and Hannah Stokey fouls in the post with 107 left in the game. Iowa lead by three. Woo, man. Man. Quincy's over here. This, this is, this is something else. You guys listening in, lurking in, just listening around the world. This is something else. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This is Iowa basketball leading by three points. 107 left over number eight, West Virginia. And Quinn nearly, I think, fouled out of the game. J.J. Quinn nearly has fouled out of the game for West Virginia. 15 points, uh, two assists, two rebounds, three steals for Quinn nearly. And Hannah Stokey at the line with 107 left. And Stokey knocking down the first 56 52. You guys, hit that, hit that like if you want. Hit that subscribe if you want. One, one more time if you want. You guys are amazing. Give me some confidence. And regardless, I'll still be out here doing it because I love doing this. It's amazing. Under a minute left. Four-point game. I will lead by four. Here's Harrison driving in the lane off the glass, missing it. Stokey with the rebound. Four-point lead for Iowa. 50 seconds left. Here's Clark dribbling up and foul by Harrison and Caitlin Clark going to the line to shoot two with Iowa leading by four with 45 seconds left in the game. Woo! 
This is... 26 points for Caitlin Clark right now. Forty-five seconds left, and probably following the game, I'll, I'll I have to use the bathroom, and then I'll be back and I'll run through some stats. But I'll let you know now. Forty-five seconds left. I'm gonna let you know now. I gotta run to the run restroom. I gotta drain my fluids, and I'll be back and I'll call the final game for the final game stats. But right now, I will lead by six. Forty-three seconds left. Fifty-eight, fifty-two. Harrison up top. Harrison jumper, long three, high. High arson three, rebound Kate Martin, and she is fouled. Or a foul away from the ball, and Hannah Stokey on the ground, rolling around. Hannah Stokey popped in the mouth. Hannah Stokey popping right up, strong like bull. Hannah Stokey, let's go. Woo! I like Hannah Stokey a lot, the sophomore. Popping right up, showing her. Woo, showing that grit, Hannah Stokey. Show that grit, Hannah Stokey. 34 seconds left in the game. Iowa lead by six. 58 52. Thirty-four seconds left. Yeah. But immediately following the game, I'll I'll I'll, I'll run through some stats as well, but I got I gotta run the, I gotta I gotta hit the here we go to the restroom. <laughs> it's been long. It's been a long time coming. Man. So 58, 52, 34 seconds left. Iowa lead by six. Hannah Stokey shooting free throws. 11 boards for Hannah. Twenty eight points for Caitlin Clark. Eight for twenty two shooting, five of fourteen downtown, seven of eight from the free throw line for Caitlin Clark. Iowa lead by six with thirty four seconds left in the game. And Hannah Stokey at the line. The rules analyst, the voice of Lisa Mattingly over there. Lisa Mattingly, shout out, Lisa Mattingly. God, you're amazing. All the real ones that love sports, that love play-by-play, -play, that love after review. Foul is confirmed. Foul is confirmed on 33 blue, which is Terza Moore, the junior Whistled for the foul down low. I gotta, I gotta stop drinking the liquid. I still got, I still got oatmeal cookies over there. I'm gonna put beautiful. I'm putting beautiful day, y'all. There, beautiful day, y'all. Boom. How you like that? Beautiful day, y'all. Man, you guys are amazing. And Stokey knocking down the free throw. 59-52. <laughs> I typed in beautiful day, y'all. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And Stokey knocking down the second. 60-52 to and 30 seconds left. Harrison dribbling around up top. Harrison dribbling around. Double team, triple team, knocked around and foul. 60 to 52. I gotta use the rest of And I believe, folks, number one, Iowa Hawkeyes will. Advance to the Sweet 16. Oh, how sweet it is. And a shot made down low by Moore, I think. 60 to 54 with 23 seconds left. 60 54. So, timeout. Man. I gotta go. 60 to 54. I'm tying in and out over here. 
Man, I gotta go to the bed. How sweet it is! But I'm gonna use the restroom, so immediately following the game. So the winner faces number five, Colorado, in the Sweet 16, folks. If you don't know, now you know. The winner of this game faces number five, Colorado Buffaloes. It's the Buffaloes with the L-O-E-S. Got to throw that E up in there. The Colorado Buffaloes. They're facing the Colorado Buffaloes, number f number one, Iowa. So whoever wins this game is facing number, number five, Colorado, in the, in the Sweet 16. No doubt about it. It's going to be an amazing game. I'll be calling that. Always chilling, we'll be here calling that. So set your set your alert, set your notification, your notification bell. Always chilling, I'll be here. I'll be here the whole game. I'll be everything. I'll give you everything. Here's a foul on Caitlin Clark. 21 seconds left. Caitlin Clark shooting free throws. Man, I gotta go pee. Gosh. So tomorrow I'm taking off. Wednesday I'm doing way back Wednesday, 1992. Duke vs. Kentucky. The shot. Christian Lettner. Leitner. Man, shout out Christian Lettner, man. Duke vs. Kentucky. Bobby Hurley and company. Grant Hill. Jamal Mashburn. The monster mess. Kaylin Clark knocks on the first. 61, 52, or 54. 50, 21 seconds left. Knocks down the second. 62. 54. 21 seconds left, you guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, they're amazing. Time out on the floor. 21 seconds left. So, I have about half a cup of juice left. Lemonade, uh, lemonade, uh, tea, and strawberry, and I got some, I got some, some other good stuff left here. But immediately following this game, I'm gonna run through some highlights, some game stats. I'm gonna use the restroom. I gotta go pay, man. I gotta go pay. So 21 seconds left, 62-54. Iowa with the eight-point lead in the second round. Of the 2024 Women's NCAA Tournament, Iowa looking to advance to the Sweet 16 for Colorado Buffaloes. Here's inbound pass to Hemingway. Hemingway jumping around in the corner to Watson. Back iron, miss it. Rebound by, by Martin to Clark with 10. And Clark's just going to dribble it out. And Kaylin Clark on her final home game. Kaylin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes get, well, there's 7.5 seconds left. Kaylin Clark, let's go, baby. Let's go. Woohoo! 7.5 seconds left. She's hyped. She's pumped. Oh, man. She's about to shoot free throws. God, I love basketball. Man, I love sports. I love sports. I love basketball. I love play-by-play. -play. I still will go out there and play right now. As I'm witnessing Caitlin Clark shooting free throws, a couple of dribbles, shooting the free throw real quick, knocking it down. 63-54, Caitlin Clark shooting free throws like I do if in clutch time, just Taking a couple dribbles and shooting it up and just getting in the groove, man. Oh, man. Caitlin Clark knocking down, swishing the second. 64, 54, seven seconds left. Here's Hemingway out to Watson. Back iron, missed it. Rebound, Blackston, and that is it. Game is over. 64 to 54. Iowa. Go on to the sweet 16. We'll face number five, Colorado, in Kaylin Clark's final home game. Ooh. I'm going to run.
run through some highlights. I'm going to run through some final game stats, you guys. But thank you for joining me. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day I got to witness the greatness that is Kaitlyn Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes advancing to the Sweet 16 in the 2024 Women's NCAA Tournament, defeating number eight, West Virginia. Let's go. 64-54 is the final. I'm going to run through some final game stats here real quick. I'm going to get a bathroom here too. 32 points. Folks, Kaylin Clark dropped her 57th 30 point game of her career. She dropped 32 points tonight. Kaylin Clark, 32 points. All right, I got to walk away. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to run through some final game stats, but that's the final. 64-54. Iowa with a 10-point win. They advance to the Sweet 16. I'll be right back. Give me one second. I'll run through some final game highlights, some final game stats. I'll be right back. One sec. I'll throw, I'll throw some music out there for you guys. I'll play some. Here, I'm going to throw some. Yeah, I like that. Some cooks in the kitchen. Cooks in the kitchen. Woo! Let's go. I with the 10 point win to go out to the Sweet 16. Woo! Else. You guys are, you guys are amazing. Right. A win, and they advance to the Sweet 16. They'll face number five Colorado in the Sweet 16. I'm gonna run through some final game stats here. Always chilling with the play-by-play. -play. Announce and commentate. What a beautiful night. 54 54. Iowa shot 17 of 47, 36% from the field, 5 of 22 from downtown.
uh, 23 percent. 25 of 30 from the free throw shot. 21 of 62, about 34 percent from the field. 9 of 34 from downtown, about 26 and a half percent. 3 of 5 from the field or free throw line. And they turned it over nine times. 15 points for Quinnerly. 13 points for Watson. Uh, seven rebounds for Watson led the team. Nine assists for Harrison led the team. Ten points off the bench for Hemingway. Eight for more off the bench for West Virginia. But folks, the damage is done. Iowa moving on to the Sweet 16 versus number five, Colorado. 32 points for Caitlin Clark, her 57th 30 point game of her career. 20 30 point games this season. Most in the last 25 years. Caitlin Clark, 32 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. She shot 8 of 22 from the field. 5 of 14 from downtown, 11 of 12 from the free throw line. I lost my cap. Oh, shoot. I lost my cap. Dang it. Well, lost my cap. You lose your cap. That means it's time to shut it down. You've had enough. So, Kaylin Clark, 32 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. Stalky, 12 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists. Martin, 7 points, 10 rebounds for Kate Martin. Another double-figure rebounding day. Another game, she had 14 rebounds last game for Holy Culture, 7 rebounds off the bench, 3 rebounds for uh, Freebach, 4 steals for the final game of Caitlin Clark's home career at Carver Arena in a victory. Victory in my eyes and y'all can't see. I gotta shut it down. I gotta shut it down because uh, let me look, okay. So I'm gonna look through some other scores real quick. So before the game ends, real quick, I went through the game stats and everything. That's the game. Game's over. Shut it down. Shut it down. But looking around the league real quick, I'm gonna throw out some other other games right now, real quick. UCLA up to or up four now over Creighton. Number two UCLA over number seven Creighton's. 30 seconds left in the fourth. Rice with 24 points. Six rebounds. Jensen with 20 points. They start in any minute now. And then um, other games at a final. Notre Dame advanced to the Sweet 16. They win over Ole Miss 71-56. Westbound with 20 points. Todd Williams with 15 points. NC State advanced to the Sweet 16. They victory over Tennessee 72 to 79, NC State with the victory. James with 22.7 assists. Jackson uh, with 33 points, 10 rebounds for Tennessee. Wasn't enough. They fall to NC State. UConn, they win over Syracuse. I was watching a little bit of that game. They win by 8, 72-64. Bukers with 32 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists for UConn. 16. Indiana move on to Sweet 16 as well over Oakland. Point six rebounds, four blocks for Indiana Holmes. As they defeat Oklahoma, they advance to the Sweet 16. Those are the only other finals tonight. But folks, I'm going to hang it up. I'm hanging up them cleats. I'm going to call it a night. Call it a day. That is it. I'm shutting it down. Thank you for joining me. Hit that sub. Hit that subscribe if you want. I'm out here always chilling, doing play-by-play, -play, announcing, commentating. We're all having a watch party. I wish you a beautiful day. If you're listening to the future as well, if you stumble upon it, I always tell you, think about you watching the game, you, old school radio podcast. That's what I'm about. Always chilling here doing old school radio podcast. Bring it to you how I see it. I love y'all. If you're listening to the future, if you're listening to right now, I love y'all. 
and I hope to see you again sometime. I know I'll be seeing you in the Sweet 16 as Iowa will be facing Colorado in the Sweet 16. And I hope to see you there as I will be doing play-by-play. God, I wish I'd see you again. You guys are amazing. You guys are beautiful. You guys have a beautiful night. It's a Monday night, March 25th, 2024. I just got done playing play-by-play, doing play-by-play. Iowa versus West Virginia. What a beautiful night. God, I hope I see you guys again. Have a beautiful evening, you guys. You guys are awesome.